I'm Tracy. And I'm Corey. And welcome to our very first live. We're live. <laughs> We're live. Why, why would anyone think that this is a good idea? To, you don't know <laughs> bad how much idea. editing actually goes Very into bad this. idea. Um, okay, so here's what we're doing. We're going to be recapping the finale tonight in real time. So grab your pizza, grab your wine. That's what I'm going to be doing. We're going to watch it live and talk about yep. it and talk about our feelings. But first, because yes. we've got a little bit of time, we're going to recap last night's epic three-hour event. You guys. Mm -hmm. Last night... Was, well, first of all, we have to yeah. say Zener's not here because he actually has to work, right. so we miss him. <laughs> he went to and work. Thank you we're for doing the work, and ourselves. we're here drinking our wine. Yeah. Oh my god! Cheers to us. Cheers to us being live. Oh my gosh! We have to censor each other. You should not get drunk. Mm -mm. Mm. Or should we? I think we have to. Here's the thing: I'm literally when they asked me to do this last night, it was so intense. I drank so much wine that I had the worst wine headache this morning, and I'm like just coming off of that. They're like, "Get back let's in there!" Let's do it. Let's be live on the internet. So anyway, I hair the dog. All okay. right, we're back. So let's talk about last night. It was amazing. It was literally amazing, and, and honestly, so many things happen. Yeah. Well, let's just start at the very beginning. So they're in Cusco, Peru. Cusco, Peru. I still uh, whoever's paying them from Peru. When are we going? The tourism board. I know Ellen goes to Peru. Ooh. Ooh, Ellen from Machu Picchu. Oh. Yep. yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, okay, so. Nailing it. The first thing that happens is they meet the parents. We've already yeah. met his parents before from when he took Crystal. Yeah. So the family wasn't a big surprise. Which I still have lingering feelings about the family. Yeah. Well, yes. Yeah. <laughs> also, the way the dad, like, talks and he's like, Ari Jr.'s got a serious. But then he says the most <laughs> awful things. Yeah, oh, no, I know. But awful. He, he's like, oh, he's got, he's got a lot on his shoulders. That's my accent for Ari's dad. I don't know. Where's he from? I'm not sure. Okay. Somewhere where lion dykes are born. Um, okay, so first, isn't that yes. it? Anyway. Sure. So, um, okay, so the, they go meet the family, and Lauren B. has her first meeting first, and it yeah. seems like it went really well. At first, I was like, yeah. she's still like, not saying anything. But the edit, to me, it was so clear yeah. that Lauren was the one. Because it yeah. felt like her date well, was so amazing. She got right? Machu Picchu. Yeah. In my mind, I'm like, whoever gets the Machu Picchu date... You're yeah, winning. that's the date. You're, he, he, well, he they ran away from, from the crew. They just really had to like escape yeah. the crew in Machu Picchu. <laughs> <laughs> they, they had to hide. And the poor camera guy that's like... Hoo, 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 for hoo, stolen hoo. kisses in Machu Picchu. Yeah. Meanwhile, I just kept thinking, isn't this like a wonder of the world? It's like a historical site and I the know. crew's running around for like... I, I felt like there was something not... It's like sacred Pers land. Yeah, <laughs> it, yeah. Well, yeah. Anyway. Okay. Um, okay, so that goes well. And so, you know, and, it's, and especially the mom even says at the end of it, she's like, I really, she, she's like, I don't know about Becca because I really like Lauren B. Oh, yeah. I don't know we're still calling her Lauren B. I know. It's like she's the only she's Lauren the, I know, she's Lauren. But, okay, so then Becca comes, and Becca's date was so, like, nondescript. Like, they didn't really do anything. It was awful. They didn't do anything in that dinner. Yeah. Uh. Well, poor, like, Lauren B gets the Machu Picchu date. She's yeah. first. And then Becca comes along and it's like, okay, you guys are just going to walk the streets of Peru. Just like, <laughs> I have to look. I even wrote down some of the awful things that happened on their day. I'm pulling up my notes. Yeah, pull it up. But then, so then she goes and meets the family. And like, just like, world's more personality, obviously. Dad says, it's his problem. I wrote down the quotes. Either way, I'm fine with it. Yeah, I know. They kept saying, oh, and he, he says that to her. Yeah, either way, I'm fine with it. The worst thing was that they kept, and I don't know if this happens every time that parents meet both people, but they kept bringing up to Becca how much they loved Lauren. It was crazy. And I've wonder, never seen that before. Me neither. And I was yeah. thinking, is it does it normally happen and they just don't usually show us? Or is this the first time? And I'm like, poor Becca. It was really uncomfortable. And that's her first, Well, and th that's like her real first kind of like, I might be a part of this family moment. Totally. And I feel like you're so nervous as it is to meet these parents and to do this. True. And, there's and cameras you, on you. And the last thing you want to think about is the other woman that's part of this. When you're the final two. Yeah, you which clearly is... Now we know in retrospect, Yeah, there's no. obviously some sensitivities right. there. But so then they just keep bringing her up, keep bringing her up, so fine. But at the end of the day, which was surprised me, the family ends up going like unanimously, we like Becca. We think Becca's right for you. Well, it's funny because I think it was maybe Ari's dad who said, Becca's really more a get up and go kind yeah. of person. Well, by the way... Yes. Yeah. Well, she's also a get up and talk kind of person. She is. I just she was like speaks. way more interested in her. She just like can't, comes in with a totally different energy. Yeah, she's vibrant. She's like, like Lauren vivacious. literally walked in. I feel like it's like a like Lauren like in yeah. my mind walked in like this, and Becca like walked in like this. Do you know what I mean? Like she just like has that confidence. Well, and we've also been saying for a while is that Lauren probably is the kind of girl that he's dated in the past many times, yeah. and Becca is the kind of girl that his family feels like maybe he should be with. Well, and by the way, I think them saying that. Mm -hmm change the whole course of the rest of it. I agree, because then all of a sudden it's like, ooh. You can just tell that he was yeah. so into Lauren and he wanted it to be Lauren, but he wanted the validation from his parents, but all his parents were saying is like, no, Becca is great. And so I think yeah. in his mind, he's like, 
well, how can I go get to my parents? But anyway. I think they knew deep down that he would probably pick Lauren. I know. I think that's what they felt, but they were pushing him to just mix it up. Because also, we don't, to think about it. Well, we've, all, we've not met his exes, so we don't know. Well, one, Emily what, Maynard. Right, that's right. The Watching Girl. Which who is very similar to Lauren in, in terms of look, but yeah. also very quiet. Yeah. And so I think if you maybe knew what some of his exes were like, maybe there's this history of the same woman over and over and over right. again. That then Becca walks in, and it might be... A different kind of I think breath right. of fresh air. I totally. Maybe? But not to mention, she's just a breath of fresh air from Lauren anyway. Yeah. And I'm like, look, I'm sure Lauren is like, when she's able to get out of her head, is a lovely, lovely girl. We just never got the opportunity to see that. And here's the thing. All I can think about right now is how Lauren is just getting raped over the calls. Uh, I mean, we'll get there. Let's, yeah. let's, okay. We're okay. getting ahead of ourselves. So, so what, I, what kind of annoyed me about this episode is that they kept cutting Something back. Something annoyed to, you? I loved it. So well, no, I mean, I loved oh, it. I'm like, but, like, I wanted to see it all the way through, and instead they kept doing the thing where they chopped it up and kept giving us interviews in studio, mm -hmm. which I get it, and yeah. whatever. And so we, we get a lot of people in studio. So we get, who was the first person we saw? In studio? Oh, Caroline. It was Caroline. And Caroline's like, had... I still can't believe what happened, and we don't know what happened yet. Well, here's what I decided is that Caroline is gorgeous and smart and articulate, okay. except when she's on live TV, and then it's... Uh, I know. Is that like what you think we're doing right now? Basically, right now. I know, I'm something. talking to I feel like maybe I'm getting a message, but I might also just okay. be looking and I'm not. Oh, wait. Oh, we have comments. <gasps> oh, we have people who are commenting. Is, this... is it my mom? <laughs> I don't think. Is your mom's name? Trisha G from is, Dallas. Is your mom's name Liesl? 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 Liesl. Oh, Liesl. my God, like Liesl from yeah. Sound of Music? Le I'm sorry, Liesl. <laughs> oh, it is it's Liesl. Oh, it's a, <gasps> it seemed, this is what she says, uh, Liesl M. It seemed like from Lauren and Ari's date, he changed his mind about his feelings about her and couldn't stop thinking about her on Becca's date. And then Kayla J. said, oh my goodness, I love that you're talking about this. Such a frustrating episode. Thank you, Liesl, and thank you, Kayla. <laughs> so here's what I have to say about Liesl. I agree, and I think that's what's so unfair about being the second person because for Becca. But they normally never make it so skewed that going second is actually and a thing. And do we really think it's the next day? I don't know, but it sure looked like it. It, it, it actually looked like they just kind of cleaned the plates and started it's over like 30 day. minutes Honestly, later. Who knows? Yeah. Production budget. Yeah. Um, okay, so we go and we see, so Caroline talks about it. We then see Becca M and CN, yeah. who's talking about this crazy thing. And then to me, the dead giveaway mm -hmm. was you bring out Ben Higgins and Jason, Jason Mesnick, Mesnick, the two people who are like, the, had the most dramatic mm -hmm. before this night. You know, for those of you who don't know, which if you're watching this, oh, you definitely so know. But Ben Higgins, obviously said I love you to two women. Which, in retrospect, by the way, not <gasps> great. He also said I love you to a Lauren B. Dun, dun, dun. Anyway, and then JoJo. But here's the thing. In retrospect, that doesn't seem... Saying I... I mean, it's terrible to say I love you and I love you. I agree. But when you think about Jason Mesnick and what's happening now with Ari, you're like, oh, bet... Ben Higgins. Like, right, yeah, Ben you're Higgins, good. you're the... You're good, go We still like you, but Jason Mesnick, when I saw him and they teased him at the top of the episode, I was uh, like, uh-oh, I know what's going to happen so here. And they keep terrible. showing him. Mm -hmm. Obviously, Jason Mesnick is known for picking Melissa, and uh, then later deciding to go back and, and pick Molly. On live TV. On live TV. But this, so, what do you think is the worst? So I know, we're live. Um, what do you think is the worst of the two? Do you think it's booting someone on live television uh -huh. and then telling the person that you didn't pick, as a surprise, you're here because I actually am in love with you, or showing up at a sequester house with cameras and no bags and saying, I no, still think about my ex all the time. No question. It already is way worse, and I'll tell you why. Don't propose. You I agree. knew from you could just tell that in his mind, even like after he said goodbye to Lauren, mm -hmm. it just didn't seem like he wanted to propose. So then just don't. I agree. Like you are the reason that this all happened. Like if you just would have gone with your gut and obviously hindsight twenty twenty. But I think like just if you're even having the an ounce of doubt, yeah. don't propose. I mean, there's been several times on this show where they end it by saying, look, I don't feel like I can get engaged. Not a ton, but like right. it's happened. Yeah. And they're like, let's keep dating. All right, you guys, hold on. This yeah. We have to really get going because and this is a five-minute warning before it starts. Ooh, we're almost there. It's starting I'm five minutes. to see if anyone else is... Okay, look for comments. Okay, so then what happened, obviously, the rest of it, there's this really emotional goodbye with Lauren. Ooh, Bonnie. Jeez. Bonnie A says, I think both girls should go and see the parents at the same time. Oh, that that's, would be fair, Bonnie that's, A. Bonnie A, that's a good suggestion. They've not done that. That would be interesting. That's like a two, the ultimate two-on-one. The ultimate two-on-one. Ooh. But see, the, I actually like that because then... You know, it's it's not like, oh, I had this impression of one, and now you have to either live up to it or not. If they go together, they're meeting at the same time. Bonnie yeah. A. Bonnie A, that's smart. You're up to something. Yeah. 
you're onto something. Yeah. You're By also the way, up to something. What's, so we're I'm watching the TV is to our left and we're watching. So and Wheel we of Fortune is on. Wheel of Fortune is on. on the map. And, and now I'm trying to like, so I'm, this is very challenging for me because I've not done this before. So I'm trying to pay attention to Tracy. Oh, yeah, I'm trying you're... to talk to the camera and I'm also trying to solve the puzzle. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm like, it's get on the, the map. D, pick the D. Oh, she picked the D. Oh, what do you think it is? Something just... and something, obviously. Okay, anyway, we're back. So he proposes to Becca and um, I, I have to tell you, in watching it, I wanted to be like so excited for her, but a part of me, granted it probably didn't help that all the lead up was something really dramatic happened, but I just couldn't fully, in, in, fully enjoy it. And then, yeah, you, I don't know the, if you know this, the footage was unedited. Oh, they made it very guys, clear. It's un- not edited. Edited The footage that we saw, not edited. They made it very clear, not edited. Do you think the footage we saw was edited? Here's the thing. It turns out, it wasn't. Oh, God. They I just know. do it every time. Well, you so, never see with the two cameras. That right. I did like. Yeah, no, here's the thing. And I liked seeing the close-ups on them and the, but you know, it was that very was their emotional. Way, that was their way of saying, just in case you think we're telling you that we didn't edit it, mm-hmm. but you think maybe we did, yeah. we're showing you from both cameras yeah. so it's clear yeah. that you so, know. I don't know. I don't know if I trust oh, it. Oh, look. Pretty edited. Oh, the office is calling. Oh, boy. Hi, I'm live on the internet right now. We have the back. <laughs> okay, so he basically... Are you being called out to be beat? No, 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 okay. Blake, I really I'll am. I'll keep going. So. <laughs> yep, yeah, nope. Okay, I'm going to call Blake back because I'm actually, Blake, you can watch this on Ellen Tube's Facebook. Who's Blake? And then ask us if you have any questions. Seems like a great person. So, okay, so. Okay, great. He breaks up with Becca. Becca's devastated. Okay, and all I wanted him to do was leave. All Becca was saying. That was the best moment ever, by the way. Who was that? He goes, ha, ha, ha. And I'm like, no. Who is that? No, really. We'll tell you later. Okay. So, so okay. So he tells her he wants to things. be with Lauren B. She's obviously devastated, shocked. And, like, I'm, like, literally, she's, like, just go. And he won't leave. Get out. Oh, my God. It, Will of Fortune. Know, like, it's it's ending, roll credit. Okay. So you guys know what happened. He broke up with Becca. We see her mm-hmm. in studio. We talk to her, but barely at all. And they tease nope. that we're going to really talk to her tonight. Well, that's the thing. Is, so it, it just right towards the end. Oh, right towards the end. It was only, like, 30 seconds of Becca. Okay. Oh, my God. You guys. We're about to see it. This is like my Super Bowl. You know what I mean? Like Ooh, this, two this minutes. is our two minute warning. Two minutes. This is what I live for. You know, some people they like themselves the Oscars. Some people. Oh God, where can I not hurt somebody? Did you guys shake this ahead of time? <gasps> oh! <laughs> Holy shit! Wow. I think we broke it. <gasps> oh no! Oh, live. We're live. By the way, I just assumed someone would, so I'm so glad it was Tracy and not me. For now. <laughs> For now. Okay, Give me I'll, one glass and it's all me. <gasps> you guys, we only do this on special occasions. By the way, this is the best finale ever. I will say, Agreed. as dramatic as it is, Normally it's three hours on a Monday night and you're done. So we get all this bonus content, which for me is enjoyable, but for them is misery. You guys, it's about to start. Come on, I want to give you a little more. Give me more. And we're going to be here for two hours. I hope you guys are opening up your wine and champagne at home. We should start a tip jar for every time you curse. No. Don't encourage that. (laughs) Who's getting it? Who gets the money? Me. Oh. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. You guys. Yay. It's about to start. What do you think is going to happen? One minute. One minute. This is the longest two minutes ever. Ever. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, hey. Uh, let's see, we've got more comments. What do you think? Uh, Kristen M. said, he left like a half hour after he should have. He just needed to go. Agreed. Capital G O. And like, here's the thing, at that point, you just broke this woman's heart. Respect yeah. her feelings and get out of there. Like, well, get out of there. Then he goes back in and sits down on the couch. She says, don't touch me, I don't want yeah. you here, just leave. Oh, so then he leaves. the ring. No, she sure did. No. Well, by the way, I mean, for the record. Neil Lane. If it were Classy me. Classy guy. Ooh, 30 seconds. If it were <gasps> me, I would have... She was very classy. I would have taken that ring off, thrown it, and been like... A million percent. Get the hell out. I would have taken it, thrown it, and then been like, actually, I'm keeping it. Oh, and by the way... selling it on the black market. Here's the thing. I wouldn't... I don't know if I'd be more upset about the fact that I was getting dumped that way, or if that he brought the cameras with him. Ten seconds! Ten seconds. Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys. So, here's how it's going to work. We're going to watch... While it's happening, Five and then seconds. during the commercials, we we'll tell you comments. what we think. But we're going to be watching. If you want to watch us, watch it. You can. But watch the show. It's happening. By the way, I love getting texts from people who don't know that I'm doing this while we're doing this. So I just got one from my friend who should be on The Bachelor. He says, I'm single. <gasps> I just got Ooh, one. Ooh, the drinking game. We're going to do a <gasps> drinking game. Ooh, okay. We're going to do a drinking game. We know that this is going to be a, a night of apologies. So anytime somebody apologizes, mm-hmm. it doesn't matter who, it doesn't matter who, turn them, turn them on. We're going to take shots. Shots. <gasps> Oh God! No, you don't. She looks. She's beautiful. so pretty. Oh. oh. 
And by the way, well, I'm not always a fan of that ring. No, me either. Mm. Oh, Becca. We love Becca. Oh, she needed a tissue. <gasps> Oh. Oh, she, oh, she's, she's crying. Talk about the scrapbook. Oh. Yeah, Ari, monster. He is a monster. Oh, Jason Mesner. Yeah. At least it's not Sean Lowe. <laughs> I'm sure it was. Okay. I did, mm. like, my heart did break for her. Oh, for sure. I came around and was like, oh, this is so unfortunate. Well, I just don't like ever seeing somebody upset. She handles herself really well. I agree. For someone, by the way, who didn't talk the whole season, she sure didn't have a lot to say in that finale. She really did. And, but again, she was very classy. I like the way she handled it. I don't know about that Chris jacket. Harrison. Do not say it's the most What's this? He's going back to tell her, I think. He said he already dumped Becca. Now he needs to go tell Lauren B that he picks her. Wait, they're live and we're live. Do you think they're really Oh, yeah, they are live. Yeah, they're really live. Oh, crazy. This is how I sit and only watch things. Normally Actually, I usually bad. have a blanket. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that's really truthful is that I'm drinking. And the skinny top. Oh, should we have pizza? Can you guys bring in the pizza? Oh, my God. Thank you. This is the truth. Let's see. We have some comments. Kirby Bennett is here. Oh my god, that's my best friend. Kirby Bennett is my best friend. Did she watch it? Didn't make any sense to me. Do you want pizza? No. I say yes, right? For like a month. I don't see it lasting. Do you? I know. Do you think they're better than last? Kind of. We're going to get all your answers tonight. But before that, let's take another look at the most controversial finale in Bachelor. Oh, I had to recap it. Yep, it's going to be a recap for eight hours. Oh, Deborah Kay says I think you should not have given her the ring. That's, I, mean, I know, I, know. I agree, Deborah Kay. I want to know if anyone, if anyone out there thinks that they're going to laugh. Like, let's put a bet. How many, how can many months? Can we do months? polls? Yes. Are there, like, polls that you can do on Facebook? I don't know, but comment if you think they're going to last. Yeah. I can be louder. I should be louder. Okay. If you were taking a poll, disagreeing, yes. if you think that they are going to last, say it in the comments. If you don't think they're going to last, I don't think they are. I think they are. Well, how, well what do you mean last? How long, yeah, how long do you we think? We already saw this, which is why we don't need to. Yeah. How long do you think they'll last? Six months. Six months. Mm -hmm. How long did Ben and... They, well, they had that all... That whole show. I know. That was a mistake. Huge mistake. Yeah. I think he would say that now. Once you're done, you're done. Like, move it along. Yeah. Okay. Do, should we place bets on who's going to end up on Dancing with the Stars? <gasps> oh, my God. I can't wait for Dancing with the Stars. Do we think Ari's going to be on Dancing with the Stars? I hope not. I think, like he's, I think he's a tour? villain. I think he's a Oh, but maybe a redemption tour. I don't know. Oh. <gasps> See, I know. I feel so bad for her. See, that's still in Peru, right? Oh, she looks so pretty. She's so pretty. I Wait, know. this was the day that's what she was wearing. Yeah. Oh, she makes so pizza. <laughs> they're a couple, they're just like us. I know. I never make pizza. You eat pizza, she makes it. Oh my god, they look cute. Oh, they were in a bed together. But that all probably fun. happened in a matter of two hours. I think oh. for me, the more I hung out with you, the more I felt like I was losing the possibility of maybe I know we already saw it, but why did it, he do that? It still hurts my feelings right now, watching it for a second time. Uh-huh. <laughs> but look, that is the... I'm sorry, what? That's her look right there. Do you want to dress as her? I'm looking right now. We have more comments. Has anybody commenting about how disgusting I am eating this pizza? Um, no, but if you think the way she's eating pizza is disgusting, please comment. <laughs> Heidi said, I think the guy had some major pressure. He made a mistake. Sheesh. Don't we all? We all make mistakes, but this was a very public mistake. He was caring mistake. and thoughtful so far. He felt horrible. Not I don't... Good. I don't disagree. I think he definitely felt horrible. Katie commented, tell us about the pizza toppings. And oh, I just had cheese. Oh, my God. 
So we have cheese pizza, yeah. Swedish fish, sour gummies, and a vodka snack. Oh yeah, should we just take a shot just for fun? Sure, what do you yeah, want? Give me a whiskey. Nope. Oh, what happened there? Whiskey. Oh, I heard something else. What did I say? I don't oh, know. No. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Oh. <laughs> Uber, we're getting an Uber home, don't worry. Yeah. Oh, this uh, is the aftermath. I, I know, it hurts just watching it for a second time. I love her. Isn't it funny to have someone's heartbreak and totally change your mind how you feel about someone? Like, well, let me tell you, <laughs> no. I ragged on her for the whole season, and now I'm like, oh, I just By love her. By the way, her. Andy Zener, if he was here, he won and yet he lost because Becca, Oh, he picked her. Becca was his pick. Yeah. Which I guess. Technically. He won. But the season's not over. Right. See, she said that and that. There was nothing to give a chance. He'd already made up his mind. I think he made up his mind the second he said, no, I'm not proposing to Lauren B. Oh, yeah. I think he still knew that this was going to be the outcome. And again, I feel for you, Ari. This is not a situation that I'm used to being. <laughs> I'm curious what that means. We're looking at cards, everyone. Are we? Do you want us to ask that to the people? Oh. Oh. Guys, so we, we're, well, we're going like to ask you a question. You. And comment below, how do you feel about them airing the breakup? Do you think that was appropriate? Did you think the footage was unedited? Erin thinks that we have the most fun job ever, and she's jealous. And by the way, Erin, you were right. True. I'm at work right now. It's <laughs> we're insane. We're drinking. It's literally insane. Oh. Well, oh is that a fun. middle seat? <laughs> <laughs> is that a middle? I'm I sorry. Mean, talk about insult to life, injury. Life is hard enough. Oh, Delta. And they just put her in a middle seat. I mean, come on. Give her a bulkhead at least. That's terrible. A middle seat. Shame on you, Bachelor. Just for everyone Just here. The, the room enjoyed that. I think the, the people at home are That too. joke landed, as they say. Oh, look at his nipples. Oh, that's Jason Bessie. <laughs> <laughs> They're really pointy. I can't really hear. Are we, can we make it a tiny bit louder? Volume, people. I mean, there was some backlash. I remember some people magazine said bachelor betrayal right mm. i mean what i heard people saying was like cheater which wasn't true but well, people yelled at me in the street they yelled like he's come around though people like him now right and, uh, you don't think so I mean, well i can't speak for people i can only speak for myself you and you're putting you don't like him there in a way i don't know I I'm, like coming, I'm coming from a place of positivity and. Oh, although we had Melissa in the, in the queue and I loved her. Melissa was amazing. She's incredible. If you're watching, you're not. We love you. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case you are Melissa, we love you. Who do you think's watching? Us right now or the, or the Bachelor? Forget Us right the now? Bachelor. No, okay. Probably my mother. Hi, oh, Eileen. Good Jeep. Good Jeep integration. Her hair's beautiful, oh. which Crystal said. She's great hair. Yeah, I just really. I. She is one of the more boring finalists that they've ever had on the show. In, in, easily. Top, and top one. What? <laughs> She's in the one percentile. But I now have totally turned the corner and I feel so bad for her, even though it seems like it's going to work out in the end. Mm. Where is he now, though? So is he visiting her? Is this her in, house? Where is she, in, Wisconsin? No, is she lives in Dallas. Dallas? I can't keep track. <gasps> Which, by the way. Oh, they're in no, Virginia. Virginia. Oh, so she went to be with her parents? Cause she's from, she lives in Dallas. Oh. He's freaking out. What a lovely house. Pull it together, Ari. This is the good thing. Like you're getting this girl. Yeah. Although I guess she could say no. <gasps> I haven't thought about that. Could she say no? She wouldn't. Please. She needs we it. all know she's not oh, saying no. Now he's in Minneapolis. Oh no, Becca's in Minneapolis. Oh. Oh, and it's snowing. Well, it's and snowing, she the and the seat. suitcase, and the middle seat, and it's just what an awful travel experience. She still experience. looks really pretty. Ugh, I kind of like get in that snow. Oh, she's got to carry her own bag up the stairs. This is just heartbreak after heartbreak. Oh, oh she kept the scrapbook. But that, that was five seconds. They were together for all of five seconds. That's not like ten years of history. I wonder what ring that is. I'm calling it. Bachelorette. She needs to be it. She deserves I, it. It's the If it's not her, who else could it be? CN. No. It's not. I love CN though. Yes. CN we Tia, love Tia, but we think Paradise for her. Oh, I can't watch Tears. It makes me cry. Well, yeah, girl. What is she reading? Her notes to him? For so long. Maybe just a... Is that like a journal full of tears? Do Why do you have to ask that? Of course she does. Well, that's five seconds after it happened. Oh. 
Whenever I see producer, I'm like, we're producers. It's kind of cool. Whenever I see someone crying, I think, pull it together. This is television. What about Becca? Yeah, come on. Like We love her. Oh, there, there's the other Becca and Caroline. Tonight, when we return, we'll find out what happened when Ari and Lauren saw each other again for the first time. And then What do you think? I mean, I think she here to talk about the most shocking finale in Bachelor history. He's going to come up with another term. We have an announcement that is sure to send shockwaves through Bachelor Nation. Shockwaves? Shockwaves. Let's drink the shockwaves. Cheers. No. No. Um. Justine E. said, no, I don't think it was appropriate that they signed up for it. That is true. Okay, you no. guys, it's the first commercial break. Like we said, mm -hmm. we're going to be talking about it. What do you think? That was kind of a recap. We kind of expected to kind of <clears throat> get a little recap. It is heartbreaking to watch her cry. Yeah. Do you, are you really being so cold that you won't let her have her time to cry? I mean... Yeah, Why are like, you so heartless? Just do it and get over it. Here's my feeling about it is that I'm, I'm a little softy about it because I didn't love Becca K., and I did okay. not love Lauren B. the entire season, and we knew that, I'll like... I'll do that later. Sorry, I really yeah. want another piece, but I'll do well, it commercial break. No, I know, okay. but we need to talk. Yeah, we have to talk. Go ahead. It's okay if you want to eat it. No, get it later. Okay. Go! Okay. Keep oh. talking. It's our first live fight. <laughs> <laughs> it's happening. So, here's my feeling about it. I never loved the two of them from the beginning. Right. They were never my favorites. They were never my picks. So the fact that it's the two of them in the end, mm -hmm. before all this drama, I was like, ugh, these two. Well, wait, hold on. It Can I say one thing, television. though? Could Lauren B. have been anyone to pick? In fact... If for some reason Lauren B was your pick from the beginning, yes. comment below because I want to know about it because... Anyone who says it is lying, just so you I know, agree. if you said that, you're lying. Although you want to know something so funny, remember but how But I, I might read your name. Remember how I, my first pick was Lauren S, who I now follow her on Instagram and she like seems like so fun, I feel like she got her bad rap, yeah. I hope she's in paradise. Then my second pick was Caroline, who obviously. I love. love. Caroline, mm -hmm. would love to talk to her here. And then, but before I picked Caroline, I thought about doing Lauren B to pull a Catherine Judici from Sean Lowe's You season. did mention Lauren B, by the way. I know. And I almost picked her as my pick, and I was like, well, there's no way it's going to be And I almost her. got mad that you picked her. You were like, and then maybe Lauren B, and I was like, what? I know. But the truth is, I really, I was like, yeah, maybe it is, because it's so far-fetched, because she's so snoozy. Lovely. Here's the thing. Yeah. Again. I'm sure she's a great, wonderful that's the person. Thing. I'm sure she's, like, totally lovely, and this scenario wasn't yeah. for her. And I think that that's so interesting, because... Casting producers must, I mean, they meet with thousands of people. I mean, this show's been on for how many seasons? 20 plus? But I wonder when they cast her if they thought, we got a winner. No. You know, Lauren you cast, B? Right. I think they cast her as like, like a night one filler. going home. Yeah. Which I think you have to fill a season with. Are you? <laughs> what happened? Uh, Is it my mom? No. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sean K. That's my husband. Give your husband a shout out. Sean, I love you. I wish you were here. I was supposed to be watching with you, but I'm here with my work husband. And we're having just as much fun and just as much wine. Yes, alcohol and pizza. I literally, I would be eating Domino's and drinking wine with him, and I'm with him. And I love yeah. you just as much. Does he comment as much as I do? Well, we usually agree. You annoy me sometimes <laughs> because you say things that I disagree with. So this, is, sometimes I think guys, you say this things, is our second live fight. No, but sometimes I think you say things just to stir shit up. Tip jar. Here, we're going to do one Swedish fish for every... Time you use profanity. My mom's so mad. Here, we. She's probably not two, watching. So far, we're at two Swedish fish. Okay. Don't eat those. <laughs> <laughs> those are your profanity <laughs> fish. Oh my gosh, you guys! <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Well, Bonnie says Becca was my pick from before the show even started. Becca K. Yeah. Before the show started, what does that mean? You saw her on the. No, she probably saw the pictures. That's my favorite game, by the way. Oh, you know what my favorite game is? You see the picture and then you guess their job. Oh, yeah. That, well, it's always so something Nurse, so stupid. teacher, yeah, but social then it's media like, manager. No, but then it's like, remember the guy Sorry, that was... Sorry, Susie. <laughs> <laughs> our social media team in here right now is fuming. But that literally is what their jobs are. No, but it's... <laughs> thinking about poor Susie in the back, who's like, by the way, Susie right now is like, I feel, I think there's something in my back right now. <laughs> yeah, no, it's me. Something no, but back, it's... It. Remember the guy that was the pantsapreneur? Yeah. No, that was so stupid. Was that Diggy? No, that was like five years ago, and he was a pantsapreneur, and he showed up in some dumb pants. Remember Evan was an erectile dysfunction <laughs> coach? Yeah, but he found love. I'm not saying he shouldn't, but no. he was an erectile dysfunction. What was another funny job? What was the, there was that girl that maybe was like on, um, oh, what was that really, he looked like uh, Arthur? What was his name, I'm, I'm Ben? So, I'm sorry, what? The guy that looked like Arthur. Like the movie Arthur? No, Francine from Arthur. Dudley Moore? No, Francine from Arthur. Is he the cartoon Arthur? Liza Minnelli? No, oh. Ben... Comment below if you've seen our The wine guy. The wine that guy? That ended up with Courtney. Ben Flanick. Oh. Oh, we're oh, back. We're back. <laughs> <laughs> Don't 
But Flynn, Finn Flannick looked like Francie the Fourth. This is the most fun I've ever had. Me too. Who is? What happened next? We're about to find out. Ooh. Panic attack. Should I get my pizza now? Mm hmm. Pizza time. It's kind of cold. It? <laughs> Wait. She's watching back the videos? Okay, this is a mean producer that's making her do that. Oh, that's terrible. But what, what was that video? Who are they sending it to? <gasps> Tracy's mom is watching. It says so on my phone. Oh, that's the new tattoo. It's like a bug. <laughs> what is it? I don't know. I, I can't see the two. I can never guess. Ooh. No, she said that to I her know. dad. Yeah. She said, if he likes me, I can't understand how he, she would, he would like well, that. Well, her dad opened the door, so... I agree. I'm not saying... I know, I'm not saying... Okay, oh, here we go. A lot of breathing. That was fine two seconds ago, and now I'm freaking out. Why is he freaking out? He's going back to I tell know. someone he loves them. Doesn't it kind By of? By the way, he wasn't freaking out nearly as much when he gave Becca the boot. Right. Notice that he was calm about that, and now he's You're freaking right. out. Doesn't that kind of look like the Home Alone house? Well, pulling it together. Call it. <laughs> Melanie said, "Don't answer the door, Lauren. It's a trap." <laughs> Just say no! No soliciting! I approve of the outfit, though. He... Carrie, what's his name? Carrie Fetman? Fetman? Excuse me? That's his stylist on The oh. Bachelor. I'm a big fan of Call on Instagram. I gotta get into this Instagram thing. What? Wait! What's happening? She knew he was coming? This is a huge moment, and I'm really nervous. What? I wish I could pause this. I talked to Lauren on the phone, and she knows Beck and I broke up. Oh. And so, right. Mm -hmm. I'm here to tell we have Lauren to say about how much that. I love her, and that I want her back. How was your morning? Did you say, how was your morning? What was your morning? Good. Well, she's always been good with words. <laughs> <laughs> I had some pancakes. I'm willing to make it up to her. Are you guys probably going to get in this much heat? I mean, it seems like it's going pretty well, Ari. <laughs> Kaylin Allen. Somebody give Ari an Oscar. The dramatics. Kaylin, I wish you were here. I agree, honestly, because I thought that he was only doing it to get closure for himself. So, while I'm happy to see him before moving forward, I definitely have a bunch of questions that I want to ask him. It's just been, it's been the hardest month and a half. That is so mean to Becca. That's so mean. Because I had to things with Becca. And I know that you've gone through hell, and I know that has been really difficult for you. But I came here today because I want a second chance. And I want to show you this. Say no. It was really difficult coming back and being heartbroken because I felt extremely alone. I can't. Like, oh my I can't. God. I couldn't talk to anyone oh. about it. No one really understood. You couldn't talk to anybody like. about it? And the fact that. Well, there were people there. <laughs> she, she physically couldn't say the words. She literally. <laughs> kind of accept that. <laughs> and just know that like, there was no chance of that ever changing. She's rocking some solid and, hair. And, um, so beautiful. Mm -hmm. It kind of was like, crushing me. Here's the thing. She should be like kind of sad right now, kind of whatever. But she's got that yeah, smile of like, I got this. It's like a serial killer. No, it's it's like, I got this in the bag. Oh, she's yeah. laughing. Doing other things. But, she has great um, teeth. I said that last night to my husband. You weren't there. Carol said more words than she uttered all season. Mm -hmm. So that's why I came back here for a little bit. Yeah. Um, it's definitely the hardest breakup I've come through. You mean getting dumped on television? That <laughs> challenging. Um, well, she had her fiance. I mean, I think sure that's all. Like you guys had as strong a relationship. 
I just feel like there was a lot of confidence coming from her end. And I just remember that. Confidence? That time where yeah. I was Ita, and I saw a little doubt in your eyes. And it scared the hell out of me. Oh, and this is why he picked her? Worry, you know. Hey, by the way, I picked you because the other girl. Right. I wasn't sure about she, her. She was a little, she made me worried. You with her, I just can't, I can't wrap my head around why you would ask her. I think in that moment, I just felt like I was making a safe decision for my future. Okay, Becca, you better you know, go on there and slap. That she'd make. You know that Becca right now is sitting in a dressing room I think watching, watching this? this, thinking the logic side of myself. I would hate him if I were her. The emotional side of I myself. do hate him, so. It, well, right. Yeah. Oh, is that with Becca? Like, were you just like, pretending or were you trying? Oh, uh, Ari. Yeah, I was trying. I was trying to make it work and I was very like open. Then don't her. propose. Get on one day and propose. This is terrible. I don't think she knew the extent, you know. I just said well, she now she does. Feelings for her, and I said yes. And then I said, you know, would you allow me to give her a call? Because I feel like either way it'd be good to either draw some closure or see see how I See that's like mistake number eighteen. And then as soon as I heard your voice, I was like, oh. Like, I'm in trouble. Melissa says he hasn't even shed a tear. No Not a single tear, and I'm sorry. If Lauren B's voice makes you go, <laughs> like, I don't get you. I'm sorry, Ari. It changed everything for me. Because I knew that there was still a chance. I have to assume that there's footage we yeah. haven't seen of her and him. I mean, no. You think? I think we've seen the best. 100% over Becca? Yes, 1,000%. Ooh, and he's smiling. Just, I made the wrong decision, you know? One. I feel terrible, but oh. I my heart's with you. Always this is live, so I can't say the things I would want to say. I feel like I was always that I'd be saying at home. Hoping that you would Every time you have the urge to say the words, just take a bite of pizza. I just ate two when you haven't had um, one. I'll take a shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, has he apologized at all? So, I came here today because I want a second chance. Mm. And I love you very much. I think I forgot yours. And I want you back. Yeah. Here's it's the a thing about it. movie ending. Here's my, my difficulty with the whole situation. Lauren didn't do anything wrong. And we're doing what I think a lot of people are doing right now, and that we're vilifying her for just... She didn't do anything. She got dumped. She's there waiting at home. He shows up. She's in love. Like, can you fault her for that? No. No. I hate him. Uh, yeah. I just find her boring, and I wouldn't pick her as my sig of. No, I get it. I get yeah, it. I'm, I'm just saying, but like, but he's he's the villain. I'm just to not me. a millennial, so I don't know what that means. I'm 30 years. Old. LOL. <laughs> oh my god, that was. So Lauren has taken Ari back. The temperature here in the studio, <laughs> tepid at best. Where does our new couple go? From What's hard? We'll find temperature out. in the studio. Hot. Both are <laughs> I'm on. <laughs> it's steamy in here. <laughs> They're gonna join me on stage. We're gonna find Here we go. Let's bring back the favorites. Just went down. Guys, yeah, this is gonna be interesting. That's coming up when we come back. How have we never been in the audience for that? For that? Can you imagine? They'd no. Have to, they'd have to oh, like... there they are. There's everyone. There's Tia. Tia! Mm -hmm. Do you think, well, here's the thing. This is where the battle lines are gonna be drawn. Commercial break. Commercial okay, break. Second, second commercial, commercial break. break. Wow. This is where. Oh, oh, do oh, do you think Ari okay, will propose to Lauren tonight? We've just been flashed a card that. I, Oh, I yep. had not thought about that. Here's the thing. I don't I think, think so because I bet they're already engaged. <gasps> oh my god, you always like I never see it coming I and bet. Then you have these great like revelations. Well, because I'm diabolical. You are. And I think that they're already engaged. Okay. And I think that they're going to say that they're already engaged and then he's going to put the ring on, on the finger. finger. Okay, I'm going to say that they're not engaged and they don't get engaged because fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice whatever the saying is. But I don't think he already made that mistake wrong once by proposing. So I think he needs to like let it breathe a little. Oh, I think he may have done it five seconds like after they cut to commercial. No, I know. Break. I'm just saying I don't think he's going to. No, I think they're already like it's done. They're already engaged. I know, and I'm saying I disagree with you. No, but, I, but I'm saying I think. Oh, do you know? <gasps> no. Sometimes he knows things. I don't know anything. I don't know anything. Okay, but so here's how I, what I felt about or that. Do I? I dislike. Lots of comments coming in. I dislike that, just real quick, that he showed up and they hugged him instantly. That felt weird to me. 
Like, I wish there was that, like, why are you here? Like, what's going on? Well, because they'd already talked on the phone. I know, but you I guys don't think, like that. I know, me neither. Okay, then Well, agreeing. don't yell at me. Cheers, Cheers to agreeing. Cheers to yelling. Agreeing. <laughs> Is that what we call it? That's what do you what call it at home? Being right. I can't, yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> but then I don't like how she was, like, upset and trying to put on, like, this hard exterior and then being, like, you could tell she was, like, smiling because she's, like, obviously, like, I win! No. Yeah, that's the thing that's tough, because you don't want to root for her because she doesn't look heartbroken now. Right. She looks like she got over it. Yeah. And so now watching him walk in the door and hug her, she's like a pig in, you but know. But I agree with you that she's not, like, <clears throat> I don't want to villainize her because, it's again, tough. It's, not, it's not her fault. Well, because she didn't do anything. Like, at all. Literally. Entire, like, literally and not talk. anything. Oh. Poor Lauren B. <laughs> the claws are out. No! Yeah. You, we say, what do you mean? We say this every week. <laughs> I like how I'm you, saying that you're mean. I know, you're the meanie. Uh, okay, what are the comments coming in? Yeah, Cindy, wonder if you will use the same ring. That's a good question. I don't think so, though. I hope not. Well, Lauren, you've been watching this, so if it's an oval with a halo. If we have to see all this, Neil movie. Lane again, though. Well, we will. He got they enough screen time. Neil Lane, we're good. I, I mean, I love you, Neil Lane. No, I love you. Kaylin Allen, our friend Kaylin Allen. Oh, we love you, Kaylin. Kaylin we wish you were here. He's underwhelmed. You're underwhelmed? With, with, I mean, wait, by the way, there's no context to that. So, so with I, what? I, I hope you mean by the Bachelor finale. Because cool, I think Kaylin. we're I think we're killing it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> by I the way, I like how here. I say that and then there's this one awkward moment of silence and it's like, I think we're amazing. <laughs> I do too. And I will say this, I'm I get like this is literally I'm like having the best time. Because it's like my favorite show. Yeah, but that's I don't get excited about what anything it, the way I get excited about it. What does it say about this. us that we love this so much? Like we loved seeing heartbreak and like what are we well because <laughs> you're a monster a monster yes, I know. You're, i've been saying it all season long <laughs> you are a monster. a monster but this is why i think because i really do like all the vilifying of everyone i really do appreciate the happy ending mm -hmm. and i'm also very competitive so i really like picking someone at the start and seeing if they win yeah well here's the thing like you said lauren b doesn't deserve it i don't think crystal deserved the bullying like that's the problem with this show is that there are these online bullies that will just go and say negative things about anybody like they're gonna have a tough time if they make it beyond this show which is oh. like they're going to they're gonna have a really really tough time have you seen the world wide web up. today no, that's what i'm saying you know oh, that's what just i'm saying today. oh it was bad i mean jason Desnick even touched on it he's like i mean you're so happy because you finally like feel like you found the person that you actually want even though you yeah. maybe took the wrong step to get there and then now they're gonna have to deal with the scrutiny of the public which is not but great. this is what i'll also say <laughs> tina wants to know about lauren's pink eyeshadow she wants to know what brand it is. Oh. I don't know. Uh, we don't, that. I don't, I don't, I'm I don't guessing know. it's, I don't know anything about I, makeup. I don't know. I had mine done today because I was so panicked about this. I know. I'm embarrassed. But, but I definitely got a little touch up. <laughs> oh, we're back. Oh, we're back. I need my drink. Oh, back in. Oh, someone's having a good time. Chris Harrison's like living his best life. <laughs> Do you feel like saw. when stuff like this happens, Chris Harrison? Like, you know what I mean? Oh, he's like, like, like Ari breaks up with Becca, and he's like, to talk about it. so help me welcome Becca. He forgot her name. Oh, Kendall. Tia. Caroline's loving this fame. By the way, I totally forgot that Kendall existed because she wasn't also, on the women's Becca tall. Becca M's outfit, my God, white bra and a little nighty. Just watching your faces over there. Tia looks good. Not a nighty, you know what I mean? Like a sheer. Same. Oh, I know. I can so relate, Becca. Mm. I, am. I also own those earrings. What is, what is it that angers you so much? What is it? Uh, I think what? that he is just not a genuine person, and he just wants to say whatever he needs now to I'm say. I'm distracted by them. The, person the earrings. By the way, I think it's interesting because she was in love with him. I think he's an incredibly manipulative person. This is someone that she wanted to marry. Wow. I kind of want them to have like a little interaction. Did Becca M and him ever get to talk yeah, at Women Tell All? Yep. No, right? Uh, I mean, I think. I, oh, so once yeah. I found out about what happened, I, obviously I was disappointed, but I can kind of get over it. But seeing last night's episode, how he treated Becca, and now seeing how he just threw their relationship as if it didn't even one thousand percent mean anything to him, it's just compare him to Juan Pablo. Do you think there was any sincerity in what we it's okay. saw with? <laughs> So, like, on the scale of 1 to 10, that Juan Pablo's a villain, and he's a 10, let's say. 
I think awesome. Ari's I think I like an eight. I think the outcome was bad, but I think like there were still yeah, some redeeming qualities that don't make him as terrible as one problem. What do you think? Five? Oh, really? No, I think it's worse. I think this is worse than Jason and Ben, like we said. Yeah, but I don't think he's intentionally trying to He's not me. mean. Yeah, yeah. that's right. The way he says things, it's like he doesn't take it in her feelings into account. Do you think all five of these women are going to paradise? I hope so. Probably shouldn't have gotten down on one knee a month and a half before. Okay. Preach, 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 preach. Becca was not happy on Twitter today. No. Yeah. He's engaged. What oh, would I love you guys Tia. suggest if you do? Yeah, tell him. Uh, we all know. Privately, instead of in front of millions of people on camera, he yeah. has that choice. He Cheers, Becca Ann. To make that decision, and um, I mean, yeah, I mean, we all. I think we all kind of needed to see it. I have a lot I to get also order for everyone to kind of get that, but I just don't think that's something as we actually should have seen. Well, you bring up a good point because everyone's been talking about this on social media today. I've gotten a lot of heat from it, Kendall. What do you think about us showing what we showed everybody last night, unedited, uncut? I mean, we know that our relationships with Ari or with The Bachelor are going to be on television. That's why we're here. Um, I, I personally kind of liked that we were able to see it, only because it allowed me to see how strong Remember her sister was. Kylie? I mean, she handled that the best Ooh. she possibly could. But, but her um, answer's perfect. I, I just loved seeing her be so strong through it. It's yes. On, on what we saw last night. Women power. Was it too much? Um, I don't think it was too much. I think it needed to be seen. Um, I think, you know... I agree. I think we should have seen probably it. Probably wasn't seen with the fact that he... I'm glad we saw it because now we like are like all Team Becca. Going into it, Do you know what I mean? She was going to get Not that we were before. I just feel like if you're along for the ride, you, you have to be along for the whole ride. I don't think it's fair to us. I agree with what Kendall said. I don't think it's fair to us to show the whole thing and then, and then for him to dump her. And, and then, then they tell just, us what happened? Yeah, that being said, I don't want her to be embarrassed on television. Right. But she was a champ the way she handled and also, that situation. And also, she's going to have a lot of supporters. And if I'm right and she's the bachelorette, I mean, a lot of like people supporting her for that. Yeah, if anything, the way that she came off was looking amazing. Exactly. And Tia's talking because we know how to her. He wants to talk, kind of let me know what's on his mind and she was asking me like do you think i should do it like why would he want to do this to me right before the season airs just so people know this is about a month and a half after the engagement right through. right um yeah like season was just about to start she was already nervous about that and is Becca? she still had a lot of emotions for him she got upset thinking about having to talk to him and like cn said in that package ari is you know in his interview saying I don't know if Mark's going to take me back. I want to take this risk. But that was way after the fact. He knew he had already spoken to Lauren. Yeah, I mean, January. That's, that's we the, have to talk about that. We're yeah, gonna, that's the scoop right there. Come here. We, we have, we're going to talk about that. Okay, so where does this go now? What, what, what do you guys hope for? I hope that Lauren gets out of that as soon as possible. Oh, wow. Damn, how the tides have turned. My goodness. Yes. Take a sip, this is honey. Very stressful. I hope that he learned a lesson from this, and I hope that he can see how heartbroken Becca was and that he never does something like this again. I'm not confident that that's going to be the case, oh but God. I do hope that they're happy. Is anybody rooting for Ari and Lauren? Honestly, I really want their relationship to work out because I saw... Leave it to Kendall. She's always like the... <clears throat> she's like, like a... She's a beacon of light. She really is. Well, so well-spoken. And I would, love, I would love for them to have love. I mean, I don't think I would ever want to not... What she's so that? pretty, too. No, I think she's pretty. I just don't know if I agree with what she says. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that, that she doesn't think that this has anything to do with her right. and her value and that she's able to move on from this and see that he wasn't the right person for her. Agreed. And that there are plenty of other potential guys out there for her. She's actually concerned for Lauren, too. And is hoping that Lauren is guarding her heart and protecting her heart out of all this because oh, Becca dear. is such a good. She's the person. She's the best person. She wants everyone she, around her. See, but that's the thing. I also don't think that they think that Lauren's a bad person. That's what they said. But like, with Becca protecting her heart and Lauren protecting her heart, and I think that it's like, I think it's just unfortunate. Yeah. You know, oh, it's just totally. And I, here's the thing, Ari wouldn't have wanted this to happen. I just wish she realized he could have made a different decision and gone to her and said, I'm not ready to get engaged or something. Lisa commented she wants to set Becca up with 
her single son like because she thinks she's awesome. Well, Lisa, well, she's the bachelorette. To, yeah, go to ellentube.com, write to us, tell us who your son is, see if we can make it happen in the cube. You know what I mean? Ooh. Right? Love connections in the cube. Oh my God. Cube connections. Cube connections. <gasps> Hashtag cube connections. Yes. What about Peter? Oh. 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 What about Peter? Just everything about him. Oh. Oh. Your man's coming back to you and saying that he wants to be with you, and he's making the decision to be with you in the face of controversy. So of course she's gonna take him back. Who wouldn't? Like obviously he's telling he was telling each woman certain things like in fantasy suites and all cameras. So they were both. Who's the third? Oh, Kendall. Yeah. She's in love with him. Ladies. Oh, look at her. No, I could watch another eight hours of just these ladies. We should get all of them in here. Yeah, we should have Chris okay. Harrison come here and we go there. Okay. Oh, yes. Okay. All right. Third commercial break. Wait, let's just real quick talk about... Okay, so we are lucky enough that we get some of the Bachelor people in the cube. Yes. And most recently we had Adam and Raven. Who were our, amazing. Absolutely. And you wanted them for a year. For a year. And mm -hmm. they finally came in and I think we're BFFs. I'm not sure because she won't return my calls. But um, but anyway, sure. they had some really interesting... So Adam lives in Dallas. I'm from Dallas. Just want to remind everybody. And at their viewing party, Adam said that Lauren B. was there. Now, mind you, that was for this premiere episode. And it was Raven, Adam... And Lauren B. Lauren, and that was it. And... No, I think that was it. But anyway, the point is, mm -hmm. the two of them and Lauren B. were there in Dallas watching it. And this was the first episode which aired on January 1st or 2nd. Yeah. Yeah. And <clears throat> while they were watching the episode, Lauren B got a phone call from Ari. Which is, by which the way, is crazy. Well, that's the thing because obviously the whole situation is weird to begin with. Right. It's such a peculiar situation. But then the timeline is really weird too. Like they that's were the thing. Well, because he gets engaged and like they never told us explicitly how much time was between the proposal to the breakup. It seemed like a matter of weeks. You had a theory. Well, the whole show is a very short turnaround to begin right. with because it, it's only like. Six weeks, yeah. two months. Two it's months a very, something, yeah. it's a very short turnaround. So it was only a few weeks later. So they clearly have spoken on the phone. They've already prearranged the fact that she's aware. That's why when she shows up and she says, "How was your day? How was your morning?" Yeah, they've already talking. They've already talked a bunch of times. And don't you think they probably hashed out what happened on the phone, but then the, the producers were like, okay, well, we need you to talk this out on camera, which is why she's probably smiling and having. Sure, because do. she knows that they're already like. They're already together. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's They've probably yeah. been talking on the phone, and it just breaks my heart for Becca, but I hope that she realizes that, like, I think everything happens for a reason, and so she needed to go through this, and she's going to be better for it and find a better guy. Um, they're showing us a card, and I'm really bad. It says breakup, shown to set up so Becca the, as the, the next So the question is, do you guys think that they showed <clears throat> us the, bre the breakup to set up Becca? To set up Becca being the next Bachelorette. I a thousand percent do because I would tell you, I was I liked Becca, but I agree that I wasn't like, she's got this amazing personality to, to, hold, to like lead a show, but after seeing that... I agree, but I don't think that they showed it with the intention of doing no, that. I, I think agree. they just knew that it would happen. Right, and it worked. What, we're back. Oh, splitting oh, up together. Oh, the, splitting up together. Executive so produced by Ellen DeGeneres. You might know her as our boss. Yep, that's right. I'm she, very excited. She, by the excited. way, is... Loving The Bachelor right now. Oh, Very she's interested loving. in the finale. Mm -hmm. So we'll have to talk to her tomorrow to see what she thinks. Putting it together, March 27. Make sure to tune in. Mm -hmm. ABC, it's funny. It's funny. Stacy says, I agree with most of what's being said, but I think people underestimate how... Stacy, you got this. I agree with most of what's being said, but I think people underestimate how hard being in this sort of situation could be. Agreed. Hard to understand unless you have been in his shoes. Which, I agree 100... That, oh. oh. We got like another hour and change to go. I agree 100%. That is a very challenging well, by the place way, to be in. Like, I would never... It's easy for us to sit in our cube and comment because I would never be brave enough to be on one of these shows. Absolutely not. Never. I think you're by going on this show, you're opening yourself up to just being scrutinized by... There's No matter if you're the most amazing person, there's going to be someone that is just going to say something negative about you. And so to, to go on and you even have the like bravery to do that, and especially someone who clearly, like Lauren B., is not someone who's totally comfortable with that setting. But it's, don't you think that they go on thinking that there's no way they're going to be the one that gets dumped? So that way... No, I don't think so. Because then they're all heartbroken that, when they get dumped. You think that all 30, 25, whatever women go on thinking, I'm going to win this thing? But everyone cries when they get dumped. And isn't there someone who... No one ever says, ugh, not for me. I think they do. Really? I mean, once they meet the person, I do. Yeah, but then they all get booted and cry. Yeah, well, I, because I think part of it becomes a competition. And I think it gets in your head. I think so, too. I think, like... 
but I don't know if like some of the tears, like for instance, are necessarily about being dumped by Ari in this instance, mm -hmm. or more just like not being able to keep going on this experience. Which, by the way, I'm married, but I still feel like maybe I would have loved that. Oh, Sarah! Sarah's our new favorite fan. Oh, she said it's better than the actual show, but we're back. We are. Oh my God, Swedish fish. Thanks, dude. Sarah. We love you. Do you know where this is being filmed? What if it was just on the other side of the queue? Can you imagine? <laughs> there they are. I wish Zini was here. I know. We miss you, Zini. I'm going to get very flat. And by kind enough, you mean... <laughs> Yay! Yay! Give her standing out. We Yay! love you, Becca. This is my cubicle. I don't have confetti. Yes, you do. We have it right here. Well, popcorn. Ooh! Stop throwing popcorn in my cubicle. I have to work here tomorrow. <laughs> okay, I don't know where this goes. <gasps> she looks she pretty. Looks good. Very Wonder Woman. Oh, yeah. Love that movie. <laughs> Very Gal Gadot. She Is it Gadot? At the Oscars, somebody said Gadot. I can't keep track. I think Sandra Bullock said it. I'm really sure. That's who it was. No, thank you for she Same. looks uh, amazing. Amazing, beautiful. Is gonna be rough as well, very so Wonder Woman. Very yeah. How are you doing? Um, some pain in there. Um, just trying to take deep breaths right now. This is a lot, to say the least. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's hard to watch Belle back and to see what went down on the other end. Um, it's nice to see her vulnerability. Since we're all we know about her is her confidence. Do you know what I mean? What are you laughing at? Sarah said thanks. No, we love you guys. Thanks for the call out. We love you, Sarah. Yeah. So what's your opinion? Um, it's it was hard to watch back. It's hard to relive those moments to feel that heartbreak and to know what all went down. But watching it back, it honestly helps me get some closure just to see. Good answer. Which makes sense. How hurt I was and how blindsided I was and to know like her lip gloss. that he, at the end of the day he had to do her side part. Yeah, it's, like, it's like all on my side. At this point you saw it, it was real, it was raw, um, all of those emotions, it, it, it was so real but you know. What's going through Ari's head right now for what went down. watching so, this? I think he's embarrassed. How can you not be? I think no, he's slightly embarrassed. Right. And it's just another part of my story. When did you first learn? She's killing it. Oh, someone says Jenna thinks that um, so Becca looks like Kate Middleton. Did you know that he reached out to Lauren? Huh. So he, up front, right after the engagement in Peru, he said, sure. Okay. He did. <laughs> I don't know, like 100%. <laughs> How much wine you had, girl? <laughs> okay. She's beautiful. I honestly and I love didn't know Kate. that he had reached out to Lauren until after the fact, um, about, I would say, a week or so later. Okay. So it was, we had talked about it, and I had said, if you need that closure, by all means, reach out to her. If you need to get that guilt off your chest, then do that. And by closure, you mean opening. Starting up in it. <laughs> God. If you need to open that relationship again. And, like, her being so, like, open to, like, him contacting her. Yeah. How big of her. We looked at houses together. What? decided what we were going to do with my place in Minnesota, and so. No. I, yeah, I Wait, so then that's a lie then. Looked at houses. Oh, see, oh. even Beck, the other Becca's like, oh. First sense, if you ever had one, that things might be going south. Um, well, to be quite honest, I didn't know that they were going to go that south. But um, probably a, a week or so before he actually ended things. We had talked, and that's when he did tell me that he had reached out to her and had that conversation, and that there was still feelings involved. I just didn't know at all to what extent. And how did you feel after you heard he reached out to Lauren? I mean, you had, was there betrayal? Or was it just sadness? Yeah, not. I mean, at that point, it wasn't sadness. I um, I was glad that he had told me. I just wish I would have known sooner. I think, and um, it was. The hardest part was just hearing that he did still have so many feelings after that. It's like I thought he was going to go into it and hopefully just close that chapter and get that guilt off his chest. So do you think for a week he was lying to her? Yes. That makes me really upset. really upset. I'm doing well. Um, it's obviously still hard to So how much time has gone by since the breakup? I think about two months, uh, right? Moments, I don't think that much. Wasn't it early January? Yeah, maybe, yeah. I, 
feel like now that I've seen all sides of the story and where his heart lies, um, I wasn't for him. Um, and I would never want him to feel like he was in a relationship where he was trapped. And so if I'm not the one, I'm not the one. And That is so... Well, I know. Um, I love her. To happen, but we love you. It's just re that's really mature and, and very kind of like um, outpouring of love and support for one person. You know, on the show um, seen for you. Wow. It really has been What's the word? It, it feels nice. What? Honestly, mature? Sorry. What are you saying? Very like just um, calm. Like she's thought through the whole thing. Totally. And she's, I think she's being very gracious. Yeah, too. she's at peace with it. Did you know there's billboards up? Billboards? What? Yeah, this is true. In, in to be fair, I did pay to put that. <laughs> <laughs> this just in. Three billboards outside Dallas, Texas. Oh. Mm. Oh. This is another one. This is uh, well, this is more about all. Oh wow. You knew to do that one, Francis McDormand. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that that joke landed too, everybody. The room liked that one. Yeah. <laughs> They're still laughing about it. <laughs> Lots of firsts. Oh, yeah, this is hilarious. This is real. Do you know what the fund is at now? No. I can tell you it's over $6,000. Holy moly. Whoa. To buy her wine. I wish there was a fund for me. We got some two buck chuck no. in here. Yeah, don't. Don't start a fund for me. I don't need it. I have plenty of water. So you could buy a drink and relax. And now it's over six thousand dollars. Yeah. I mean, I love my wine. Don't get me wrong, but I don't think so does Tracy. I don't know. So what do we do with six grand? Donate it. Give it to some cause that needs it. Oh, I love her. I just love her so much, and I take back anything I said earlier in the season that implied that I didn't. Miss America. You don't. You donate that. We'll match it. Ooh. I'm sorry. Are they building an amazing character? Yes, they are. They sure are. Her teeth are good, too. Mine are probably turning red. <laughs> Six grand is the wine budget for our show. This is a terrible situation. Are you kidding? If we had that much, we wouldn't have to buy the two buck chat. Exactly. Um, one of our producers, co-producers, uh, wants to know what my favorite appetizer is. You know, Ari is here. Yes. I mean, in gen are we talking like, <laughs> are we talking about like pizza rolls or in like mini hot dogs? Or are we talking about like the plethora of snacks that we have in front? I like a good, like, yeah. spinach like artichoke dip. Who's asking? Yeah. Ryan Kawamoto. Oh, Vodka's so my favorite though. appetizer. Oh, should we take a shot? Yeah. Oh, that's a bad one. When we return, <gasps> oh, this is what we've been waiting for! Shots for Ari. This is, like, the best picture. When you get to see that they're gonna get to talk. Because, like, oh. here's what I'll say. For everyone who's drinking at home watching this, cheers to Becca. You handled yourself yes. amazing out there. You donated the money that was going to buy you wine to charity. I would never do that. I would pocket all that <laughs> I would money. Buy all the wine. All of it. All Here's right. the thing. That in comparison to the rest of what's coming up, that was the easy part. Yeah. Because now, in front of a live studio audience, She's... in front of a live Ellen to yeah, face, audience. Facebook audience. Does it say how many people are watching us? Is it three? Is it my mom and my husband and my dad? There's a lot? How many? Ooh. Over a thousand. Over a thousand? We're so popular. No. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> to Becca K. And to being popular. Popular. Mm. We can't clear that song. Mm. Ah, oh, I did. Oh. oh, well. Okay. Oh. Here's the next question. So, I assuming. Need a popcorn chaser. Assuming. We're right. Mm -hmm. And they announced Becca as the Bachelorette, in theory. Or in I my, mean, it can't be Not theory. Else. What a bummer home. if they were like. No. Please welcome CN! No. Chelsea! Was, yeah, Chelsea's like. Come on hey, out. Um, okay, but so the question is Is Becca ready to be Bachelorette? I think so. It's is, her, really... is her heart mended? I guess they wouldn't. Would they start filming soon? Yeah. Oh, right away. Right away. Is it back? Okay, it's on. Here's the thing I'll say. It's such an amazing opportunity for someone like her who, you know, you're heartbroken. Right. And rather than going back to nurse your broken heart mm -hmm. and maybe you'll date and maybe you won't, like, you're literally forced right into it. Right. And you're put around some really solid guys. But do you think you feel like, okay, think about your most serious relationship where you, it, it didn't work out. <laughs> I'd rather not. Okay, but just if you had to. <laughs> could you then, like, go on, like, say, 
a week later and start dating other people. If there was 25 hot guys waiting for me, that's true. Yes, that's true. Yeah, I mean, sure. Also, Here's the thing. You know what they say to get over an ex? To get over an date ex. Date 25 new ones on reality television. <laughs> oh, no, they say? Yes. Who are they in that instance? The gays. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. I have a theory. I'm not going to say it explicitly, but I have a theory that he might be, not be interested in any of these women. <laughs> oh, Ellen DeGeneres, our boss, tweeted. Not at us, but she Oh, said, I was like, what? <laughs> God. She said, Clear oh, up. Becca. Oh, Lauren B. Oh, straight people. Oh, Hashtag after the final rose. Straight rush. people. If you watch um, our show, you know that that's where Ellen shows something that straight people do and then says, Oh, oh straight, straight people. people. Drinking wine while watching well, because Bachelor. wouldn't do that. Oh, straight people. Who wouldn't? Us gays. We wouldn't do that. We wouldn't do what? This whole situation. I'm sorry. It happens on like Bravo or something. There's like a show, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, but, you know... We do it like we're or better. Or like logo. What's <laughs> Lifetime. What's it on? <laughs> we're better dressed. I don't know. I don't know. I already does have good fashion sense. Nick had really good fashion too. Okay. Blank, Mary kill. And by kill, I mean not give a rose to. Here are your three. <laughs> okay. Blank, Mary, and not give a rose to. Okay. Here are your three people. Mm -hmm. Ari. Okay. Juan Pablo. Jason Mesnick. Oh. I look for this. That was awful. Go on. Um, blank Ari. No, he told no. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I take that back. Sorry. As soon as it came out of my mouth, it sounded wrong. <laughs> I guess Juan Pablo. I was thinking that too. It'd be dirty, but it'd be... It'd be like spicy. Yeah. And then he'd, he'd, he'd be like, talk dirty to me. And he'd be like, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I would not give a rose to Ari, because this is what I'll say about Jason Mesnick. That whole situation was like... Well, the whole situation was lame, but he is, he, it turns out like he's a great <gasps> husband. I'm sorry, I'm really excited about American Idol. Oh. Go on. Yay. Can't wait. So he's a great husband. He's a great dad. Yeah. Him and Molly are very much in love. So that whole situation was unfortunate, but it seems like he's a really great guy. I think I agree with you. So I also, would marry like, him. I feel like Jason Mesnick looks the most Jewish, and I am. So I would want to marry a Jew. Is he Jewish? Jason Mesnick? What are you saying? That like, that's not, I don't know. I don't know. Nick, like Resnick, like that's a Jewish last name. I yeah. know Resnick. <laughs> We're getting the move on from the oh, Jews. Oh, sorry. Stuff. All right. And, um... <laughs> <laughs> that was the best. We got trapped in... Bed. Oh, we're back! Oh, we're back. <gasps> she Perfect. Says, that's, the pro that's the problem. <laughs> this means move on, by the way. I didn't even see that. I guess no, I'm going to be a little more exaggerating next time. Sitting here with Becca, who was so gracious enough to come back and be with us. Gracious. That's what I said. No, but like, break there. We were talking about it's like, sit there. The Shouldn't exactly say, like, oh, I'll come back. Mm -hmm. in Los Angeles nice when you broke up. Yes. Yeah. You ready to I approve. No. <gasps> Let's do it. Oh, my God. Talk, get it over with. Yeah, get it over with. Move on, move on. Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, Ari. Oh, Emma said no one wants to blank Ari. Oh, Emma. That's true. Emma, what would your choice be? Comment below. Oh, oh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. So awkward. Vegas. Hey, buddy. How does it feel? So, welcome for the first time since that day. Feels great. It's good to see you. I Super. It's been really hard for you. and um, I'm so happy she looks so amazing. I knew this day would come, and it was good to see you. Thanks. She's like, not good to see you. <laughs> yeah, it, I hope she doesn't give him what anything. Like Agreed. Ask Ari. Um... I mean, since that day, I've had so many questions, obviously, running through my brain. Um, I think my biggest one is just when did you know that oh. you wanted to end things with me and go back to her? Well, I think it was through that conversation I had with Lauren. Oh. You know, I know that. Uh, and yet, I don't believe that. I think it was sooner. He knew uh, before he got down on one knee. I think so. Up and how it was hard for me. And there was a lot of guilt and a lot of shame, and we were close, and I wanted to express everything to you, but I wanted to be sure before I put that out there. Mm -hmm. And I think then that... Don't propose. Here's the thing. I agree. The like, I feel for him, but that, then don't propose. I don't feel for him. It's because I wanted everyone here... I just don't, I don't think he's a bad person. I don't think he's a bad person, but I think it... Was, he made a mistake that he can't, like... And but I think there's a lot of questions, and... He, he could have prevented that mistake. I agree. That's why. Did you, 
like when talking with her and having that first conversation, or like, you know, like we had talked Becca about be again? you reaching out to her. Yeah, and right, that's next. going to happen. I guess I want to know too, why did you hide that from me for so long? Ooh! The fact that I had, to reach had to have that conversation. She's like ready to do a TV interview. I had a conversation with Lauren and then I didn't want to be rash. You know, I needed that. Oh, Ooh. look at Becca. I wanted to be certain in my decision before I come to you to tell you that I wanted to pursue that. And How many conversations do you think you had with Lauren? Quite a few. And I also don't like that he said that he wanted to pursue that, which really means dump you. No, but that time was the time I needed to really sort out my feelings. Right, but even when we had talked through it and I knew that you felt feelings for her, I mean, I... I tried to be as open with you as possible and as supportive. She did. And you were. And, I, and I, all I asked for was just honesty from you. And I feel like I didn't fully get that, but... If you're Lauren B, do you have trust issues with Ari? I would. Um, I'm just trying to get my thoughts. No. Moment. You really don't? I don't think so. But did you feel like... <clears throat> why? Like... I guess, why weren't you fully honest? I know that you say you wanted to get all of your thoughts in order, but... At what point did you just kind of shut it off? Because he's embarrassed. And know that it he's embarrassed. I mean, that's like, listen. He's, he said he feels shame. Yeah. I think, uh, I think from the time we got back from Peru, there was this emptiness that I felt, and I feel like I expressed that to you. <sighs> and I, I did express How sad is that, that I was still to hear someone say that relationship. they and have emp- that emptiness and you're their partner? Yeah. The people that mm-hmm. haven't gone through this, it's like, you go through this intense breakup, and you go through a proposal. Amanda wants to see the shots. Amanda, you're in charge, obviously. <coughs> and I was working through Amanda. those emotions, and I was is it my friend Amanda? confiding in you about that. And I think that is why he said sorry. Oh, is that why? You allowed me to Amanda, stickler. You to know either way. <laughs> but I didn't. I had that conversation with her. No, it's my cute And that's classy. when I really had to sort my feelings out because classy. I didn't want to Thank take that huge risk One lift, whatever. to face this. Scrutiny if I wasn't certain. But when you oh, I mean, and from the way I is that Kendall? It was Kendall. And basically get the guilt off of your chest. And Kendall dodged a bullet, huh? Yeah, maybe that's why she's crying. And Definitely need to eat more food at this point. I don't think you went into that conversation. Yelena said, "How many of us are stress eating?" Your head, because all of us. You know, I am. You, the, the only person who's not stress eating is Becca. You were just so messed up. You messed up in your head uh, with your emotions, I mean, where I feel like there was a lack of respect on the end for me. Agreed. A hundred percent. Where you went into that not having, a, not getting that clear resolution that you needed to try and have my back. You thought he was closing the door. Yeah. yeah. As opposed Instead to of trying to open it up. Yeah. yeah. So look, yeah. Right, let me ask you this. Having seen I forgot Chris was there. Tonight, I know. Isn't that weird? Uh-huh. Who are you? Are, are you over it? Are you ready to move on? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm always going to have love in my heart for you. I mean, you were next. my fiancé, and I did fall in love with you. Oh, no! For the rest of her life, she'll be engaged. That's yeah, so but unfair. It doesn't, it doesn't yeah, count. I'm ready for the next chapter. Well, I don't know. What if she was someone who only wanted to be engaged once? That's so unfair. But when she, if she were to be the bachelorette, she would say no. Does she then say, well, I was engaged once. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. You know, I don't want to keep looking back in the past. Forward. Oh, don't botch this, Ari. Get it right. Yeah, I mean, I, I do regret, regret proposing that day. Oh, good. Oh, good. Why would you? Oh. oh, she's not letting him. She's yes. so good. The pressure of being the bachelor, knowing that there's a timeline. But there are people that have come before him that have not proposed. But you always have a choice, and you didn't need to make that choice. I know, and I own up to that. That's on me. That yeah, totally it's on you. I, I have no excuse for that. I yeah, no one tells him to get down on one knee. Yeah. I mean, it's a huge moment. It's the pod guy, my God. God. It's something that people dream of. Your shots are bigger than mine. You robbed me of that. I'll never have that first engagement, Janet? the first proposal again. Um, oh, that's right. Did you hear that? What did you say? I'll never have a first proposal I again. That it's a that's he, what he I said. He robbed her of that. Pressure situation. I just wish you would have fought through that so much more on that day. Completely agree with you. And, and even after the 
fact when we had talked about everything and I asked Do you think he's coached? Pressure, like, did, did I think he's I think he's pre- put a lot of time preparing. Yes, right. I'm confident with us. I made the right decision. I'm so happy. I love you. And so it's just where did it go wrong? I think I don't think it ever went wrong. I think that that was I was one foot in. I think as a bachelor you And don't say I love one. you and then don't and propose. That's no excuse. I, I should not have proposed. I think I was conflicted and I needed more time, but I didn't have any more time and I should have seen where that it went after this. Okay. And I like that he's blaming the clock though. Like that's unfortunate. Like don't don't blame the timeline. Okay. Yeah. Just don't do I, it. And I apologize. No, he's blaming himself. He said I, I shouldn't have done it. Take that back. I'd be sorry. So when we we did get engaged, I gave it as much effort as I could. There are so many people in my family. You know, this is the worst game so ever. Slash. And I, and I Best. Express that to you at that time. So Becca. That's real. Sometimes we put fake stuff in it. That's I the do. real stuff. Yeah, I do. Um, Sorry. And I forgive you. I do. Yeah. Um, the entire situation. It's hard, um, but you learn from everything, um, and it just adds to my story. What do you wish for art? Um, adds to I story. do want you to be happy. I do. I want you, and I hope that Lauren is your Have people weighed in and if they think that it's going to last with Lauren B? Um, Are people commenting at all? I, I really want to know. To if what? And be no one thinks it's going to last? No one thinks it's gonna last. Thank you, my people. For her, be committed to her because oh. there's a lot to go through. How classy is that? And She's saying be committed to Lauren and stay class. Oh. She might be the best the, I, like, I, bachelor I, contestant I, ever. Happiness. Ever. I would never want to. I did love Michelle Money. Any ill will towards anyone or wish you any. That's hey, a throwback. Hey, throwback ten years ago. Oh, well, I was watching. Thank you very much. Betsy oh. Ross was great when she stowed that flag up. She made that flag. <laughs> yeah, she was great. Ben Franklin loved her. Uh, the Betsy Ross joke landed to everyone. <laughs> I don't care don't what care. Jason Mesick has to if say. They, are they bringing them on? It yes. seems like they are. I want more of this. Who cares about Jason Mesnick and Molly? Speaking That's actually, throwback. you know what? That's better because we can just like talk that entire time because we already know what they think about it. No, we get it. They're in love, and that's oh, fine. you know what I have not explored yet? The sour gummies. Feels like time for exploration. We can count how many times. They're oh. really sour. <laughs> Too sour for me. Stick with the popcorn. <laughs> I don't see. I don't see. I, I haven't looked at my phone at Ooh, all. Michelle says they will be broken up. I have 67 text messages. Easter. Easter? She says before Easter. I don't want to bring up the Jew thing again, but when is that? <laughs> Easter is April... Oh, wait, don't tell me. I got this. I know this. April is Pass- April 1st. Oh, Passover? Close. April 7th. April, is, April 1st. April 1st is Easter. So in so three non-religious weeks? terms, by April Fool's Day, they're so done. So in less than a month, they're done. I don't think so. I think they make it done the aisle. Who's it that, Esther? <laughs> Biblical. <laughs> Michelle. <laughs> We're definitely drunk now. We? We, I speak of myself. Here, I got you some home <laughs> Okay, so... We're off the rails, you guys, We're off the rails. We started decided so strong. decided this was a good idea? In fact, I know who his name is Daniel, and he's sitting in the corner, and we, now he's We ready. started off so strong. We did. It went south I so fast. I still have things to say. I mean, here's the thing. We have another hour of this. Oh, God, I'm hot. Oh um, God. How did y'all think... <laughs> Okay, the question is... Okay, wait. <laughs> okay, let's back it up. Let me see the card again. Okay, hold on, hold on. Wait, hold on. On the count of three. Keep a straight face and look at each other. One, No, two, I can't do on. it. Come on. One, two, three. I got this. How did y'all think Becca handled the talk with Ari? Okay, now my turn. How Comment. did y'all think Becca handled the talk with Ari? I won. Yeah, you sure did. Y'all, I'm from New Jersey. We don't say y'all. I'm from Texas. We say y'all. I know, and I don't. writing for me. <laughs> okay, right. Of course they are. It's your show. I got it. I'm just lucky to be here. <laughs> Hold on. I'm gonna okay, you more. guys. Oh, my gosh. I am loving this. I think that Becca really did a great... Oh, this popcorn's good. She did a really nice job. She did a great job. Here's the thing. She is, like, I, I'm proud that she's a woman and, like, is the one that experienced this because I feel like... She handled it beautifully. I agree, and I love that she and, didn't shed a tear on that stage. And I love Not agreed, mm-hmm. and I love that she also supported Lauren B. 
She said, look. Classy. If that's who you're going to choose, then go ahead. But you better be true to her. You better, like, treat her right. Mm -hmm. Because she's a woman and she deserves that. And Becca didn't get that from him. I'm curious to see if Becca ends up being the Bachelorette, the kind of guys that will end up on her season. Mm. Here's a question. Yeah. Bring it. Okay. I got answers. So... Becca K becomes Bachelorette, we're assuming. Right. We're not assuming, we're guessing, we're hoping. Right. Really, we're hoping. If Becca K becomes Bachelorette, mm -hmm. obviously we're going to start seeing guys that she's interested in, but I'm guessing we'll probably get some African-American bachelors. Mm -hmm. We've never had a black, uh, a black bachelor. Yeah. Could that be something that's in the future? I'd love it. I would <clears throat> love it. I would love it. I think Becca is going to... Well, it's funny because she likes Ari, but what was her ex's name who was super hot? Ross... They look completely different. Like when they when he showed up at yeah. the at, at the hotel, he was like kind of like a he like felt like military to me. Oh, like he was like yeah, really rough and look good. Um, but like they're so different. They're so different looking and like listen, you can be into lots of different types. But I'm curious to see if she ends up with someone who looks more like Ari or yeah. more like Ross or just like neither. Looks like someone else. Now here's the question: mm -hmm. If Becca K becomes the Bachelorette, mm -hmm. will we see Ross again? Maybe, I hope so. maybe not as a contestant, but maybe oh, as like a show up. By again. the way, if he showed up as a contestant, that would be amazing. If he gets out of the limo, and she—I mean, I'm down for him. Well, but who, she, who was it? Who was it? Um, Nick season. I can't remember her name, but she was the one who was best. Who was the maid of oh, honor? Oh, yeah, they had already hooked up at what the wedding. What was her name? Does remember? Liz. Liz. Yes, yeah. Liz. But could you imagine if the door opens Jamie, and then he gets out? Do you think show. she freaks out, or you think she's like, "What are you doing here?" No, I think she freaks out. And but sends him home. Yeah, I think so. Or he sticks I, around? No, I think she. I think he comes. If it happens that way, I think he comes what out of the limo. What if Nick Vile gets out of the car? Dream. That's my dream. Ugh. Nick is not watching, but if he is, he knows that he is like one of my faves. Oh. <gasps> We're back! Oh. By the way, Rosemary says that we should do this and comment on other shows. Oh my god, I like American Idol. I like Dancing with the Stars. I have a lot of things that I watch. <laughs> Big Brother. I like Rosemary. <laughs> <laughs> Rosemary is like a great name, and it's also a great like spice slash like. Herb. You taste good on food. <laughs> We're, We're back. back. We're back. Like, we'll watch it. But like, she did. Did you like Molly? I liked Melissa Rycroft so much. She's so lovely. Yeah. And she's fun. She's spunky. And so I didn't dislike Molly at all. I think I just disliked her because you know of what he is, did. You know why this is different? Also, yeah. sorry to interrupt from this mm -hmm. is because I think Molly and Melissa were both interesting, had things that were lovable. Yeah. And Lauren B, that's I think, I think the way they portrayed her, I don't necessarily think she's like that, but the way they portrayed her, it was harder to grasp. I agree. It's It was really tough to root for her, so it's easy to vilify her now because you never really rooted for her during the season. But I think people are, like, I think they're giving her a hard time. Where but don't. Not Molly, here. Yeah, not on the Ellen it. channel. We are all about kindness. <laughs> Molly and Melissa, it was like two people that, they were fan favorites, they were both fan favorites. Yeah. Ooh, remember it's Vienna? Really, I mean, I yeah. Everybody saw that. That's and all. It's really hard They've been together for how long now? Like, almost ten years. Ways. Molly and I were actually talking about that. I think it's easy to say, do it privately, but on the flip side, I think if people didn't see what was going on, they'd wonder. Yes, yeah, I agree. I don't agree with most of what Jason Mesdick says, but I agree with that. Why are you a hater again? You just don't feel it? Did you, well, like him, a, did you like him as a bachelor? I did until he did that on live television, then I did not. But you also liked Ari. I did not like Ari. Yeah. From the beginning ever? No. I mean, I'm sure he's lovely, but yeah. like I didn't, I didn't think he was captivating to pet other bachelors. Right. I think he was a step up from Nick because Nick seemed like someone who was like a little kind of all over the place. Yeah. And Ari, like at least, him. you know, he's like got a yeah. career and a, you know. I see it. See, this is what I'm scared for for Ari. Oh, cover people magazine, yeah. Bachelor betrayal. Yeah, I remember that. I definitely bought it. Look how the different they look. Oh, Melissa Rycroft. People say whatever they want to say to you. So then, what do you suggest Ari do now? What's your advice? My advice is to get out of a big city like LA or New York mm -hmm. and just get away and enjoy Scott your maybe? relationship. Listen, Ari, you can leave New York or LA, but they'll find you. They're gonna the find you. The Bachelor Nation they'll will find you. Find you. And Sean and Captain and anybody else, they get out of Remember that movie, What Life Again? Yeah. Isn't that what they said? Ari specifically no, that's from nope. Get Out of This Thing. Mm. Wedding Crashers. Nope, yep. Far away. <laughs> for at least a couple of weeks. <laughs> or months. Or years. Yeah. Whatever. Oh, get away for <laughs> years. Just they go into hiding. What do you think of him? What do you think of his decision? Well, first of all, I wish everybody out there could meet Ari. Because he's a nice person. 
We could. Genuinely a very good person. I think it would, but I think it would be tough. I know we have such negative, like not negative, but just like we, we're very, we have strong opinions. We have opinions because we care so much about these women. You just don't get. Yeah, and by the way, you know, up until that, I kind of cared about him in a way too. Well, and I don't envy him. He came in as a bachelor, not in the vein of what we're used to. Do you know what I mean? Like he came in wanting, he was single, he wanted a family, he but he wasn't also from the most recent season. Like yeah, he really came back and put himself back out there after being off TV for five years. Right. would be very different today if it even existed at all had Jason proposed to me that last day. Him bringing him, going through all the, the media backlash, that's a part of our journey. That's a part of our path. We like had to really like lean on each other and we needed one another to get through that and that's why we can sit here and say we've been married for eight years. Well, and here's the thing. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. But even longer together. Right. Did you play the odds? Did you play the odds this has happened once before? A hundred percent success rate for this happening on the show. Right? Exactly. I wouldn't exactly use that as like the barometer for success. I also think that this is a different situation. It is different. I think they've got a long future. I think that I Ari like Molly and Lauren... more than I like Jason. I'm okay with that. I support that okay. opinion. I love what we agree. Yeah, it's rare. Everyone comment below if you would prefer for us to agree or disagree. There was no apology that. Yeah, I know. I mean, should we take one anyway? Fine. Shot. Why do I have so many more shots than you do? Because yours are like filled like a millimeter. They were like, don't get Corey drunk, get Tracy drunk. Wasted. Mm. Oh, now <laughs> mine are awful. Act more sober oh. is the card I got. Oh, no. Okay, no. we have to pull it together. Debbie. Debbie wants to know... I wonder if Ari would be interested into looking, oh, into looking at therapy. It may help. Probably. Yeah. Or meditation. I think he just needed time. I, I get the feeling that the finale is there and there's an expectation of a proposal. And if he had had more weeks, more months, yeah. he would not, like if this show last, it's just the nature of the show, but if the show was double the amount of time and yeah. he, he had time to really figure it out, I think he would have probably known that Lauren was the way to go. But because it was like, Finale time. But do you like, think he felt more Ooh. pressure as a person that we kind of forgot about? He kind of felt like this, like, pulled out of thin air bachelor that nobody was, like, necessarily excited about. Do you think he felt pressure because of that, the circumstances surrounding him, to have an ending, have a fine, like, a, not be, like, a Brad? No, because I think that he probably doesn't think he's as boring as we do. No, but I don't mean that. I, not even the boringness. Like, I, I think just, he thinks I he's just, captivating, so no, he would but, need that. But not... Okay. Like, he wouldn't need the ending because he's interesting. Like, I think that he thinks, like, I'm interesting and but fun. Do we, and... do we still think that this is worse? I mean, I, I do, so I'm going to answer my own question. But, like, Brad Womack had a pretty bad go of it. No, that was terrible. That's that, what I'm saying. That, like, to me, was worse than all of it because he then strung two women along. Right. And then no one got a Knowing happy ending. that... Like, exactly. At yeah. least, like... And here's the thing, at the end of the day, I think people who watch this show, or at least I feel this way, like, I watch it because I love the fairy tale. I love the idea of a romantic, like, ending. Like, well, I that's want... the thing. We don't watch this show to watch people get bachelorette, bachelor, it right. doesn't matter. We don't watch this show to watch people get punished. We actually watch it because we're rooting for people. We want to see someone be right. happy together, and then we can talk about it after. Right. I guess my question is, do we think that had he actually chosen Lauren first, do you think they would still be together. Do you think the outcome hundred percent. You do? A hundred percent they'd still be together. I okay. think they're I think they're good then to don't go. you wish that that would have happened to save Becca yeah. the heartache well, and the headache? The only reason, I mean, that's unfortunate, but the only reason I don't is because now we are it like, sucks for Becca to for that to happen to her, but now we get this really amazing bachelorette. That's true. So we get this really amazing woman who's just going to rock. She's going to be so good How at it. How funny would it be if she wasn't? Like, honestly, I feel would like... Would it be a good bachelorette? No, no, I'm saying if she wasn't the bachelorette. Oh, that'd like, be so terrible. They're like, and actually, That's... please welcome Jillian Harris. Is like, <laughs> just like, can you imagine like, if it was That's... just like somebody? Yeah, like... that's punishment on top of punishment. Yeah. I like, I think unfortunately it had to happen the way that it happened. And so now we end up with this really amazing, rock solid, deserving bachelorette. And so if not Becca, who do we think it would be? 
I'm well, I've been saying I've been saying from the beginning that I would love Tia. I think Tia's got this accent. She's got this southern draw. She's got like an interesting personality that I think she could carry it. That being said, from Adam and Raven, they their opinion in the cube was that she'd be better in Paradise. Yeah, which is but, probably true. Yeah, we'll probably see. And but would you go back other seasons to previous contestants? I do think Christina Shulman could have been. I love Christina. Me you know, too, but I don't know that she would be like amazing television. What would you say if they said, please welcome the new Bachelorette, Crystal? Oh, dream. Oh, yeah. Well, that's dream. the thing. Dream. Well, we, would... we've, here's the thing about that. Yeah. And that's the thing about, I think we forget watching this, is that these people are actually like, they're humans. They're real people. They have. Yeah, they have, you would think that they're robots. No, but it's but true. Like, like, because the way they portrayed Crystal, you only see her one way. Then we met her in the cubicle. She was so different. She was so, like, interesting. She had, like, so many, like, things to say that made sense for the way she acted, mm -hmm. I would love to see Crystal as a Bachelorette. I would not. I mean, it would be great entertainment, and I would love it, but she's tough to root for. But that's what I'm saying. But I feel like you typically, aside from Juan Pablo, and even during Juan Pablo's season, you, you were rooting for him until the end when he made that horrible oh, decision. Oh, we're back. Damn. <gasps> there he is. Oh, it's a candle. What time is it? I have no sense. Ooh, we're hearing that lots of people want Cien as the Bachelorette. I have been saying that, people. Over Becca? Not over Becca. I disagree. It's 6.16 p.m. Wow, we have a lot of time. <laughs> a lot of filler. Okay. We better start getting more interesting. <laughs> I know. Are, are people dropping off? It's got to be tenfold or fiftyfold for you. I didn't watch last night. I didn't watch last night. Lauren and I were together. And, um... Yeah, it's it difficult. Oh, but, he didn't but, watch? But not watching doesn't mean it didn't happen. That I know. bothers me. That you have taken full responsibility Take, yeah, this. thank you, Chris. I have to. I mean, you know, ultimately, I did what I did, and um, I stand by that, and all I can do is apologize. Um, at the end of the day, I'm just trying to sort out what's best in my life. You know, this is one experience. This is a show. Are some of yours water? This is fading. No. Okay. I'm pleading. I just want to feel like I'm getting life, This is something that I have to deal with. Sure. So, at the end of the day, why did you do this? I did this to find somebody, and I did this to have my fairy tale ending. Um, it's and it's, it was way more difficult than I thought it would be. Well, so did Becca. Becca did it for her fairy tale ending, also. As you can see, I, I struggled those last few weeks. And for well, all fairy tales aren't told the same way. Yours might still have a happy ending. We will see. Um, we saw you got reunited with Lauren. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's here. Shall we bring her out? He knows because they were just backstage think, together, you, hanging out. Think, where he's like, "Honey, this on, is where I'm gonna break it down." Do you think she's gonna like talk a lot? Like, are we gonna see a different side of her now that she's the winner? No, but she looks gorgeous. No. Look at how happy he is. She does look gorgeous. She has a weird side part too. Right? They have the same hair. <laughs> no, he has a type. Oh, I don't know what Becca said, but that was shade. She looks beautiful. She sure does. What? What? What is? Look for the hand. You think what, they're what engaged? Is the overwhelming thought right now. Well, I'm just really excited to be here. I think Ari and I both have been waiting for this moment for a really long time. So we're just excited to be a normal couple and go and do normal couple things. Good luck doing normal couple things, by the way. But that's what makes me sad. For and don't you think people will throw garbage at them and stuff like that? Absolutely. What I know I will. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you guys all watched it. We. We actually decided not to watch it last night because it's pretty difficult for us to rewatch re it and we lived it. So we didn't feel like we needed but to. That's not true. She wasn't even there. Live it. But yeah, it was a very difficult decision for so us. So you leave Peru, broken heart. So that's around Thanksgiving. When do you hear from Ari? I heard from Ari on New Year's Eve. Okay. And how did you hear from Ari? How does Thank you, Adam and Raven. Well, yeah, um,. Obviously, production couldn't give him my phone number, so he reached out through Instagram. Okay. Yeah. He yeah. slid into her DMS. <laughs> <laughs> That's a throwback if you're a fan of this show. Um, Which, if you're watching, you must be. <laughs> <laughs> and I wasn't very excited at first because Look at I those thought earrings. he just wanted to clear his conscience since he was happily engaged. Um, so that didn't settle well with me at first, and then I did have a slight piece of me that was curious to see what he had to talk about. What did you think? Because, I mean, you knew he was engaged. I, I can't. Yeah. I can't. Um, you must be thinking, well, what? She, her first thing she asked is, 
if Becca knew that we were talking. Or if that she knew that I was Oh, I like that. By the way, Chris Harrison does this live situation really well. We have to start writing down notes. Should we ask Chris Harrison to be here next time? Yeah, we were to do it live with us? Yeah. So Instead of there. So that he, <laughs> no, just do it here. he hosts this. So that he can give us notes. We also need candles, apparently. And so where does it go? And the side part. This conversation. Well, you know I'm never gonna give you that. Go ahead. Just do it. Really, honestly, he was trying to see where I My hair was just washed fresh. How's it coming? Turn to me. It was really hard for me. So I think not great. I wouldn't say that I have a future in that. Oh, Sarah says Ellen needs to give you both a raise. Sarah, Sarah, four thousand Warner Boulevard. <laughs> everyone should. Everyone listen to what Sarah has to say. Sarah, do you know Sarah? <laughs> By the way, I'm Sarah. <laughs> I think they have a non-verbal kind of love. You know, a lot of people are angry right now. Yeah. You know what they're saying. A lot of people are angry. I think they just kind of like sign it to each other. So, oh, hey. Tell us, what do you love about it? What do you love about? Oh, oh, here we go. There we go. go. Okay. So, yeah, man. <laughs> oh, well, obviously, I think he's great, but the one thing that <laughs> is present... If you're Becca, to me is just you're thinking what right now? Well, you got your picture of them as your dartboard. Amazing job at handling this whole thing. And he Has couldn't he? have gone... It in a more respectful way. Um, and I'm oh, I. Lord, oh. over here, I've got an opinion. Yeah, hold on, we've got some questions for you. And by respectful, I've you mean not. You couldn't have done it in the worst, the worst way. Worst possible way. Absolutely. I wouldn't have given it a second chance if I didn't think that. No, she thinks so. Yeah, they're, she's they're good to go. I believe it. And how about you? Really? Where are you in all this? Look at him smiling. Oh. At I mean, I know it's easy to sit at home and, and to. To judge. No, you can do it in the cubicle. Is, is he it's super easy anywhere. to do it from here. Yeah. Call one eight hundred. My judgment travels. <laughs> and just get we'll my car. Bring my judgment to the office. And it was there was a lot of guilt that came with that at first because I did make that decision in Peru. And taking that risk was so worth it. Oh, this guy drives me crazy. And well, I'm just upset. Really, like, you know, be just, like it's, it's, conscious of Becca. I understand. The gravity of this. Like just I mean, like, I understood exactly what I was doing, but it was worth it because I needed to see where this could go. And I'm sorry, you're, he's digging a hole. I mean, listen, I get it because it's also his future. Like for she us, really it's a TV show, and then for him, he leaves the set, and then it's like the rest of his life. And so if he's right. with Becca, and he's thinking, uh, but there's a way to handle this, this to get both, and the way to handle it to get both is to be respectful of Becca, not say these things whether you feel them or not, and then go on and pursue with Lauren, and he's. What do you want yeah. to say to them now? What do you want to say to us, <laughs> the haters? It doesn't matter. You know, she's sitting next to me. I have her heart, and she has my heart, and that's all that matters to me. And that's and that's why I came, and this is why I did this. I mean, listen, well, as annoying as that response is, that's true. I mean, it's true. Like he's not, he's not falling in love with someone for me, even though I would prefer for him to do what I want. <laughs> you know, like I get it. He's not. Okay, um, true. Here's the question. Yes. We'll find out about that in a second. Okay. Do you think, let's get to the root of it, because yes. Ari is called the kissing bandit. And I want to know the truth. Do you think he looks like a good kisser? So we talked about this like I a know, little bit in the cubicle feelings. earlier in the season, but because people may not have missed it, we can rehash it. I think he does not look like a good kisser. Here's the thing. I actually think that he looked like a good kisser, but now I know too much and my opinion is so strong mm -hmm. about it that I look at him and think, there's no way he's a good kisser. It seems very, like, like out. Like, I, I mean, we can test it out. Ari, if you want to come, like, yeah. visit. Yeah. I, just, I don't know that I... I think now I'm too... So it's like, my negative feelings so are thinking, too associated Okay, so then here's the question, then. Do yeah. you think he handled this in a respectable way? How do you feel about... No, I do not. I well, I mean, the whole thing is flawed from the very beginning of what he did, but, and I get that he's just speaking on behalf of his, like, his future, saying, I, I gotta do this for me and not for you, and this is how I handle it because I'm in love with this woman, and I gotta end up with her because that's what I want, and so I'm doing what I gotta do. Like, I get that to a certain extent, but then there's also something super icy about the whole thing, because she's just, Becca's just in the dressing room watching her. She's right like, backstage, and he just yeah. talked to her, and yeah. I agree, I think there's something about being, like, look, like, 
it's great that you guys are in love and you're happy but like it seems like she knows that and I think there's a way to handle it in a more respectful manner and be like look what I did was wrong I wish I would have done it differently and like reiterate that out there like that's the thing yeah total side note as I'm looking at the board behind you mm -hmm. we have to I mean it's sad we have to X out Becca's face I know but wait did we do no we didn't we have yeah Becca's gotta go all right before we yeah. do that yes let's play who'd you rather oh I love this game Okay. I don't think this is going to do it. We have cards. Okay. So, let's see if you have so more just comments. curious, you want me to ask this to Corey? Oh, uh-oh. Okay, go ahead. Bring it. I'm ready. Right. I'm ready, America. Just hold them up. I'm going to hold up two. There's no one here but us, and I'm just looking up. No one's giving us direction. Coming. We're just doing it on our own. All right. Who'd you rather? Ben Flach or Flint. Ron Pablo. A.K.A. Francine from Arthur. Or, it's okay. Ben, for sure. Yeah, Ben, for sure. Because right. here's the thing. Oh. Juan Pablo's sexy, but like answer. he's just not okay. Ben Flanick or Brad oh. Womack? Hello, Brad Womack. I think he lives in Austin. Mm. Brad Womack or Ari Leyendijk? Brad Womack. Obviously. Like, yes, I mean, come anymore? on. Oh, God. Uh-oh, bring it on. Please welcome. Chase McNary. Oh. I'm just gonna throw it away for you. By the way, I have never smiled as big as I have right there. Where By the way, next Chase. Chase is still back there. <laughs> Come on up, because we want to see you. Please welcome Chase. By the way, that oh. is probably the biggest I've ever smiled. And by Chase. the way, if there was someone that was gonna take it away, Peter Kraus. You know. You want Chase? Can I have both? No. Okay, Peter. Not here. Well, I, know, I know what That's you're going to say. Show. You would say, you're oh. going to say, I know, but I love Nick. Nick, oh. Oh. Chad Johnson. Oh. Eat me. I love my chicken and Doing my Doing push-ups. <laughs> All right. Peter Krause or Ben Higgins. Oh, here's no. the thing. Peter Krause, Peter is so hot. You're so hot. He's watching for But sure. Ben Higgins is like, he believes in like the, the Bachelor... For, like, Does he though? Because I feel like he went on Winter Games just to go on Winter Games. I know, but then he cried, and I, I think Ben Higgins. <gasps> well, here's the thing. Peter, I love you. If it's for one night, Peter Krause. If it's forever, Krause. Ben Higgins. Oh, Andrew Firestone throwback who? for the yes please back. Who doesn't like? I mean, listen, <laughs> it's the Firestone fortune. Also, that's where I get my oil changed. Yes, we don't drink the wine, unfortunately. But if you want to send Firestone wine, <gasps> we will drink it. Yes. I would so say go? Ben Higgins. I mean, that fi oh, Firestone, okay. I mean. Oh, well, I know where this is going. Jason nope, Nesnick. No. Nope. Oh! You can see him on Guys Talk on the Today Show. <laughs> no, take <laughs> a hike. Okay, Bob. No, nope, bye. <gasps> Definitely not. Oh, we're almost back. One oh, more, one oh, more, oh, one oh, more. Oh, God. One more. Jake Pavelka. No, With Ben Higgins. It's, so it's ben meant Higgins. to be. Okay, we're back. We're, we're back. back. On the Wings of Love, I made a reference. <laughs> I'm proud of myself. <laughs> Yeah, what are you guys headed? What, what's next? Well, You're going on a little vacation. Where are you going? Should we show up on their vacation? <laughs> Let's take this on the road. Oh my god. The road show. Oh. You guys already have plans to move in together and do this. Yeah, we're gonna go back to Can't you just picture them watching his home oh, movies? <laughs> and she's like, wow. 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 For both of you. How do you plan to get through this together? Chris looks skinny. Yeah, he looks good. Uh, not look at social media, first of all. Yeah. Yeah. No, definitely don't look at social media. And <laughs> Especially mine. <laughs> don't watch don't, this Don't, yeah, don't watch us. Taking care of our relationship is the priority. I know you do every week, so it's going to be hard. <laughs> just don't. Everyone but you two watch us. I'm pretty sure that girl in yellow watches us. Oh, Veronica says she's holding on tight so he doesn't run off with the next rebound. Veronica, Ooh. you are so right, girl. No. But the second runner-up ever really feel like that's going to happen. I, don't I think, think they so. secretly, deep down, hope that it, they're going to change their mind and be like, he's really missing out. Yeah, but... Can you believe this is how it's all ended? No, obviously not. This is not what I expected at all. Mm -hmm. um, I have a question I I while this is all happening. Yeah. And You've never I seen a bachelorette do this. I love that you just brought that up, and you're so right. Right? I feel like no bachelorette would ever say, I made the wrong decision. Right. Because you know why? We spent the last couple months together, and 
I'm not going to say women respect, like, think about other people's feelings more, but I think they do. Yeah, I really think you, so there's been how many bachelorettes? Ten? Yeah, definitely, like, significantly less. Yeah, but I don't think that you've never, you've never seen a bachelorette say, you know, like, there's been no You're live, right. like, booting of the, right. the fiancé, none of this has happened. You're right. They show up, they get together, and if they break up, they break up, but this doesn't happen. You're right. I'll give you the last say here. Here we go, Ari. Make it a good <gasps> one. <laughs> What's happening right now? With me or the proposal? Well, the proposal was obvious. We knew it was coming. <laughs> no. The best decision was running back to you. No. I can't imagine. No. You. you have shown me a lot. No. Of I can't. I mean, look, come on. We, of course, he has to. Wait, I don't. No. I'm ready to face. No. Life with you. <laughs> And all, all that comes with it, good and bad. Becca, what's Becca doing right now? So Look at that, Becca. That Becca's not having it. Everyone, because I want to show you. That I no. Boo! I hate it. I, I hate it. Oh, you're not surprised. Elizabeth Vernon. What's her name? Elizabeth. I don't know. Did she just say Elizabeth? I think it's that's a middle name. It's a family name. Did he just say Elizabeth Vernon? Here's my thing. He booted Becca. Oh, it's Wait, a different what was ring. The ring? Yeah, thankfully round, it's different. Round, it's, round. it's just like mine. He yeah. booted Becca on camera. I think that he could have spared her by not proposing. Look at Becca. She's like. Yeah, she's not having it. I think he could have spared Becca by not them proposing to Lauren on television. Like being and get. Oh yay! Oh, we're in. Oh, laws. there's her parents. The oh guy. yay! We're all Wait, together. Wait, he's flown a. Good morning, America. I'm sure some people have some questions for both of you. I have literally none. No, I think we're good. I have no questions for them. Well, no, like, they, what else is the, Like, they're not going to say anything else. I just feel like proposing... You're telling me that she did not see that coming? If you saw that coming? She, I'm sure they've already worked it out. Like, I'm sure she knew that that I was coming. I like that. But, I mean, she's moving in with him, so it's not like a shocker. She's moving to Arizona. But they got... Oh, that's right! That's uh -oh. right! It better... What if, by the way... What if it was you know the, why Cian's there. What if, what if it was the <laughs> ultimate, like, switcheroo? What if Lauren, this would be amazing television, I'm just saying. If Lauren said, you know what? I'd rather be the bachelorette. And she gave him a Swedish fish? Yes. That's, my... But would that be amazing? Yeah, but it's never going to happen because one, no, they look, would never No, they're all hugging and I can't. And they're all family. By I'm the way, upset. Is anybody else upset by this? I did not want them to... To get engaged, I'm okay with them being together, but I did not want them to get engaged. I don't engaged. think that they need to get engaged on television. Don't do it. You're rubbing it in. It's like salt in the wound. This was not necessary. It's so fresh and like comment below. Comment below and tell us what you think. Tell us what you think. Are you still watching this? Thank God <laughs> bless yelling. you. I'm getting very upset about this. No, but it's like upsetting. I'm losing it's all like... my finesse. I'm supposed to say comment below and tell us what you think, and instead I'm like rar. I know, but like it's because we feel strongly about this, like everybody else does. If you're watching this, I can't show... you a pizza. <laughs> That's literally me tonight. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I get if very distracted. If you just watched the commercial of the kids sleeping on pizza. I just looked up, there was a kid sleeping on a pizza. Please welcome me tonight. Oh, we should do that with you later. <laughs> you can just sleep on your pizza. You, that's literally We're off the rails tonight. here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I'm not even going to go there. Are you getting that note from somebody? Or is that just you, Janet? <laughs> Where's the sign that Mom, says don't reference people watching? off camera? Is anybody commenting? What are they saying? Sally says, oh, bad taste. J <laughs> they said they were leaving the country on vacation. Do it. Agreed. Go out ways. So we don't see you. <laughs> oh. Truth or dare? Dare. Dare. Call someone from The Bachelor right now. Easy. Calling Ashley I. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley I. I'm just the only person to have her number because she was the only one willing to give it to me. Let's call her. <laughs> she's probably like actually doing some sort of like. Yeah, she's probably doing. All right, I'm calling her though. She's probably literally on the other side of the wall doing the same thing. I'm sorry, the person you were trying to reach <laughs> has a voicemail box that has not been oh. set up yet. Please try your call. You guys, later. she straight up gave me like movie phone. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try one more time. You guys. Feeling better until it says, "Please welcome to Movie Phone." If she answers, is she gonna be like Tracy, or is she gonna be like, "Who is this?" Absolutely, who is this? <laughs> I've never felt more certain. If she answers, it'd be a dream. 
Yes, what if she answers? She's not going to, clearly. I wish I had someone to call. I can't believe it's ringing. Like, that alone is a win. What's her voicemail? Good question. I'm sorry, the person you were trying to reach has... Ashley! I'll leave a message. I'll leave a message. Set up your voicemail. Oh, goodbye. it's full. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> that was so good. Ashley, set up your voicemail. Ashley I is literally the only person I know. Do we have Caitlin Allen's bachelor? number? Should we call Caitlin? There's, there's a lot of whispering. Can we call Caitlin? Is Caitlin still think? watching us? Is it risky? I only have his email. I have 86 text number. messages. We're, it's slight delay until we get his phone number. Okay. We're, oh, technical difficulties. Should we call my husband and see what he has to say about the whole thing? Oh, should we call my mom? Okay, we're going to call Sean first and see what he has to say. Oh, this is the best game. Hello? Hello, husband. You're live on Facebook. What do you think about what's been going on? Wait, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're still going. We uh, you were our second I call. We tried to call. That's all the time we have. Thank you. Love you. Bye. Bye. Oh, we've got Kaylin's number. This just in. Okay, we're going to call Kaylin. I'm calling him right now. Sorry, Sean. I wish Ashley I would have answered. How cool would that have been? Should we try again? What? Let me see. If I... no, one wants, no one wants to take our calls. It's probably because. Let's see who else we can call. I'm pretty sure Ashley I is the only person I have. Oh, nope, no. Nope. I'm going to try Eileen. Let's see if Eileen. Should we call Eileen? Is that we what We obviously should call Eileen. Is she on the East Coast? I don't think she's ever seen an episode of this show. Oh. And she, she definitely doesn't watch us on the internet. Do you want us to call you? Well, <coughs> don't. No, don't, don't, don't put your number, number on Facebook. That feels like a bad idea. Even my own mother won't answer my call. You guys, we're totally feeling like Becca K right now. Hi! Hi. You're live on Facebook. I am? <laughs> you sure are? Are you watching The Bachelor? No. Oh, Kaylin's calling. Gotta go. Bye. <laughs> Kaylin? Yes. Yes, you are live on Facebook with me and Tracy. Kaylin! What's up, buddy? Oh, hey, uh, oh, and we're back. We're coming back from break. Are you watching? Uh, no, honey. This is us, Kaylin. I had a tank. <laughs> <laughs> okay, He's we're gonna watch and then we're gonna call we'll you later. Bye. Sound up, sound up. What just happened? Oh my god, I love him like, so much. My poor mother. Your poor mother. Also, should Say I keep a alert in case Ashley and I call back? Well, yes. as if we haven't experienced enough drama tonight, The Bachelorette is coming back for another dramatic season. Yes! Wait, 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 wait. This is a this is a champagne toast yes. type of Ooh, situation. Yeah. Get, get 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 ready. Who do we think it's gonna be? Polls? Who do we think it's gonna be, America? Becca. Becca? Say it. Hold on. Here. All right, we'll do it after the break. No, I'm just kidding. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor to introduce the new bachelorette, Becca. Yay! Yay! Oh, look at that, Becca. Yeah! Oh, I'm so oh. happy. She deserves love. Cheers, Becca. Cheers. Yes! Oh, they're so oh, excited. Oh, they're so happy for her. We did it, America. And by America, I mean the thousand of you. Probably less now. Oh, young Becca's so happy for her. Young Becca sees herself in old Becca. You know what I mean? She's like, that's me in 10 years. But do you think that young Becca wanted to be the bachelorette? No. Really? Too young. Don't you think she wanted more screen time? She wanted paradise. She's getting paradise. Oh, there's Tia. Tia's crying! Of course she is! I love her! Well... We need her in here. I know. We need her in yes. the cube. Becca, so we can tell obviously you how you're going to watch you this are. later. You're busy right now. Come here. What if she turned to the camera right now and said, Tracy, Corey, I, would I would literally cry. This is for you. I would cry. Such a gladiator. Yeah. Here. I was it for you? Do you think when she signed up, she thought, like, I would make a good bachelorette? No. I don't think you signed up for this for that. I think you signed up for the... I think some of the people who do sign up for it, but then they just, like, you know that they're never going to be the yeah, bachelorette. Yeah, I agree. I agree. 
Let me help you find the love of your life. Oh. Is this going to be like Rachel's? Yeah. We're going to meet some people. With people? Yeah. Well, I hope. How much I time love is left? What time is it? We've got 20 minutes. Oh, for sure we're meeting people. Oh, I hope so. That'd be amazing. Oh, I love nothing more than judging the guys. Oh, well, oh. we're going to no matter what. Especially when they're hot. Okay. I have some big shoes to fill, that's for sure. Um, I just... Because the thing, she's not wrong. Rachel was an amazing bachelorette. Wait, you guys, Sarah sent us her number, our biggest fan. We're a million percent Sarah. We're going to call you in the break, so get ready. We have to watch this first, obviously, because this is our dream coming true. But stay tuned. I'm in my dream, the one suited for me, yes. How are you a love at first sight kind of person? I'm so happy. I wouldn't say I'm a love at first sight. Okay. How do you think she'll stack up against Rachel? Rachel was incredible. Rachel was a 10. She was a 10, but I think Becca's got everything we'll going for we'll her. Um, you know you have some friends here. I do, yeah. You got some... You got girls, come on. Yeah! Yes, Yay! Yes, yes, yeah! Go, oh, she's like... Oh, run, 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 run. More screen time. <laughs> like, here's the thing. Actually, I envision myself as one, one of them. I would be happy if that entire group went to paradise. Agreed. I hope so. Look at them. They're all so happy for her. Also, great arms, Becca K. Yeah. That was a nice muscle shot. Yeah. I didn't realize that Becca was one of the, like, kind of favorite women in the in the group. Well, I'm sorry. Like, there's no way that they're all like, more me. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh, my God. She's... Oh. oh. This is adorable. Oh. Don't sit on the candle. Oh, thank God. This is adorable. I'm so excited that Tia's gonna go to Paradise, maybe. For sure. Because she's awesome. Awesome. Take a look at this. This is what you're getting into. By the way, I will say that everyone on that couch right now, I love. Okay. Even young Becca. Love. Just because she I don't know. She's she just turned. She got she matured. Well, she's good television. Agreed. But all the rest of like everyone also, on that Caroline, couch. Look at that. Like give thoughts on our choice. I love that though. I love that they're all. And Kendall's one of the final three. Yeah, I love that they're all together on the couch, just kind of rooting her on, and they're all getting like they're all happy for each other. Stay true to yourself the entire time, and I got to know you better with the NBA experience. Oh yeah, she was in those people I know, and I think she's gonna kill me. She's so pretty. Do you think that all the ladies have bonded because they think that Ari was kind of like a jerk? So then they're all. You think you they all what? talk we, offline or like I, we totally like totally and I like we're I so thankful feel, it didn't happen for us. I feel bad for Lauren B in that respect because I feel like this is what she's missing out on. In a way, I think for the women, she's been villainized for the other women on the on the season because of what happened. Well, I guess that she she's also not warm and fuzzy, and so somebody no, like know. could you see her on the couch if it wasn't Becca? Could you see her on that couch no, hugging everybody? Definitely not. I don't really think that's her. Look at this! They're holding hands. Oh my god, I'm dying. Look at, look at you now. I'm not crying, you are. <laughs> 17 minutes, we have to be seeing some of the guys, right? Yeah. I love Caroline too. The guys. I hope that, here's the thing, you hope that they all go to Paris and they all find love. Yeah, so the show, the show that's supposed to start soon is actually starting now. It's right now, everyone. It's starting right now. Yeah! yeah, let me see some of those men. Give me some of those sexy men. Now, if you remember, was Brian not one of the people that she met? No. Are you sure? Rachel? No, she met, um, She met Diggy. Fred. Fred, Diggy, um, she met, oh, um... Oh, Peter! I no, think... she didn't meet Peter. She met, um... Oh, Dean. She met, what's his face? The, who's the doctor with <gasps> the hands? Oh, Tickle Monster. Tickle Monster. She met Tickle Monster, Diggy, I think. Look at them come in and put that set up. But we can't do it here in the studio. We have to set up the mansion. Okay. This makes me so happy. I'm, like, living my best life now. Here's the thing. I will say, if I was into this whole thing, I would 100% date Becca. She's a cat. I mean, by into this whole thing, you mean women? I mean, I mean the whole thing. <laughs> women thing. Got it.
What if she met one of the guys tonight and was like, I'm good, and then didn't want to do the rest of the show because she fell in she love fell with someone love. tonight? By the way, this makes me so okay, happy. Okay, we're going to call Sarah now. It's live television, and then someone says something. Like, they try to be flirty, and they're, so they just botch it. Oh, you guys, Casey just told us that Ashley is out celebrating her birthday, and that's really the reason she didn't answer. Check Dean's Insta story. Thank you, Casey. Deanie Babies? I was feeling upset, but we're going to call our <laughs> biggest fan. That's his Instagram fan. name, right? We're calling our biggest fan, it's Sarah. Deanie Babies. Sarah, I hope you're ready to answer. Here we go. What do we know about Sarah? I'm so excited. She's a big fan. Do you know where she's from? Oh my god, guys, hello. Sarah! Yay! <laughs> I'm freaking out that you guys called me. This is like the best. We're freaking out that you'd be willing to give us your phone number, Sarah. We're, we're talking to you while you're watching us talk Sarah, to you. Sarah, where are you calling from? I'm calling from Syracuse, New York. <gasps> I went to Syracuse. Wait, so Sarah, we have to ask what you're from. I went there. I went to Syracuse University. Go. Huh? What's it, Orangeman? Oh my god, this is a match made in heaven. Okay, so we gotta ask you a question while we have you. Will Becca be a yeah. good bachelorette, Sarah? What do you think? I honestly feel like she's grown so much in the last like, two weeks that I feel like her strength and like, it, she kind of reminds me a little bit of Rachel. Like, she's like bad. Yeah, I agree. it's not too soon? I don't know. You don't think it's too soon? God bless I mean, Sarah. <laughs> Sarah, give us your quick take on Lauren B. Remember, we're live right now, so don't owe any Swedish fish. Um, I think she has room to grow. She's only 26, so I think it's like... Yeah, we don't talk about that. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. it is. Yeah, it there's, is still young. A, there's a healthy age difference between them, which I think is fair yeah, to know. But she's ready to, like, call it a day. Yeah. It's, it's interesting, definitely. Sarah, who are, you, who are you watching with right now? I'm actually alone. I've always texted my younger sister because she's at school. What's her name? I'm watching with you guys. My sister's name is Isla. Hi, Isla. She's watching. Oh, hi, Isla. Hi, Isla. Sarah. Yeah, and also, funny story. I um, tried so hard to see Alan on the 12th of March because I'm going to be on live during that day and it's my birthday, but I didn't end up getting tickets. So, like. Sarah, you're really taking the story for a turn. Girl, Sarah, I get it. They're our boss. She's the woman that everybody wants to see. People want to come. But at least yeah, you're well, talking to us in the cube. It doesn't really mean anything know, or compare, honestly, but. You guys are so cool. <sighs> I, I literally watch you guys every week. Sarah, oh, we love you, Sarah. We love you. You're going to get a follow and a whole thing all right so <laughs> it's no. we love you so we love you and uh we're gonna send you some ellen swag because you are the an incredible fan so we'll offline with you oh, don't say your address right. right now we're gonna call you separately get your address we're gonna send you a bunch of ellen love because we love you and we appreciate you for watching yay and we're gonna take you think you guys are being so positive do you guys like turn everything like, so dramatic into a nice little spin to make it a little more fun and Sarah. Just for that, Sarah, we're going to sign the swag. Sarah, we're going to sign the swag. And Sarah, if you want right now, we don't want to, but if you want, we'll take a shot. <gasps> oh, I want to take a shot with you guys. I'll so we're going to do a shot. This one's for Sarah. This one's for Sarah. Sarah, what's your last initial? My last Y, Sarah Y. All right, Sarah this one is for y. Sarah Y. So if you're not Sarah Y, this isn't for you. This is just for Sarah Y. Cheers. Okay, I'm taking a <laughs> with you guys. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Ready? And... And this one's for Isla. Oh, you're going to take one for Isla? Well, this one's empty. <laughs> All right, Sarah, we got to go because we got to get ready for the... We got to get ready for the rest of it, but you are, we love you. You're our biggest fan. We're sending you all that stuff. One of our producers will call you and get all the stuff so we can send you amazing things, and we love you, and thanks for watching. Yeah, bye. Bye, guys. Love you. Have fun. Bye. I've never done this before. I don't know how to say goodbye day. to someone on camera. <laughs> now I have a number. I don't know the suave way to be like... Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Sarah. You guys, Sarah was amazing. I'm I love Sarah. Her. Oh! Jimmy Kimmel and Ari has, and there's no Patrick here, so I thought we were going to get back. Yeah, we're okay. almost back. I think, this has oh. been a whirlwind. Are we back? Nope. No, but just local news. Local news, Lee Goldberg. Everyone be careful. There's a powerful nor'easter on the East Coast. We're sending you love. Oh, we're oh, back! We're back. Oh, they're dressing the set. 
<laughs> oh, wow, that really does, by the way. Until they, like, pulled away, you really would think that you're outside the house. No, they did a great job. Right? Yeah. Look. You know who we need to have in cube? The people who actually live in that house. Oh, I know. That could be something. You know who I want in the cube? Alex and Michelle. I think oh our God. viewers... Oh, I, the OG. I think our viewers are too young. The OG batch. Yeah. I mean, dream. Yeah, wouldn't that be amazing? Is he alive? I mean, like, he's probably married. Is he, like, 80 then? Okay. This is my favorite part. Okay, let's play our game. We're gonna guess what they do. Can we guess their age too? We'll guess their age and their job. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say we guess their name, but I'm guessing we're gonna guess their name. I love when like this is weird, but like you can see like her like. She looks really so good. She, like she looks like, gorgeous. Yeah. Her, like, bone muscle. You would never know that she just got booted. Be you know, she just looks so... Well, as you said, the best way to get over a guy. Yeah, let's meet those guys. Let's meet them! What's the gimmick? Call a gimmick. But here's the thing. Some of these guys signed up before they knew that she was the Bachelorette. True. Not some of them. I would all assume did. all of them did. Yeah. She's a catch. That's a handsome man. That is a handsome man. He's got a bow tie on. You know what? Oh, just say something good. Is that an accent? He's leaving like the president. Yes, I do. We're going with it. You and I got like so tonight. I have to say you are absolutely glowing tonight. You do look magnificent. Where do we? Where is he from? That's a big guy, by the way. Look, that he fills out a suit. Especially night for a few reasons. First of all, you are the new bachelor, right? So everyone, please put your hands together one more time for our new. Oh, oh winner, will. winner, chicken, chicken dinner. dinner. Okay, I'm calling it. He is a tailor. He customizes suits. So it is all about you tonight, but have another twist. Oh no, another surprise! At the end of tonight is also my birthday. So I can't ask for a better birthday present than having you here as a bachelor as my really minute. We're gonna pop some champagne. <gasps> pop it! We already did. I'm really looking forward to going on this incredible journey with you. I can't wait to learn all about you, share secrets, you know, ideas, etc. By the way, he's had like fifty. I think he's talking too much. I'm like, I'm lost in life. You have to hate everything. No, but well, there's just other guys. You know that someone's like, wrap it up, wrap it up. No, they've got time. They're they're probably like. Stretch it out, stretch. This means like stretch it out in the TV like world. Okay, he's uh, by the way, super cute. CN's like, yes! This guy is a winner. Wait, he wants to high five? I mean, I watched what you went through last night, and I hate to bring it up, but um, applaud. I need to applaud you for how well you handled everything. And just, you know, Every frame. Oh, he's like David Beckham. You know, this guy, what do we think he does? Energy, you know, I think he's a tailor. Me and to just he just, like, wears a suit well. To go on this incredible journey with you, and... I cannot speak for he's either a tailor or a social media manager. I think he's like a motivational speaker. Really? <laughs> I think he's a dentist. He just called it Ari. I think he said Ari, first of all. And he called him a wanker. <laughs> Listen, I'm just repeating. <laughs> okay, you are adorable. That? We, did we get his name? I don't know, but I'm like twirling my hair as if he can see me. <laughs> like. Yeah. Although it feels like maybe he's into the cameras a lot. I don't care. I don't know. He's a good looking man. I like it. <gasps> Who's next? Who's next? What I'm if Peter walks out? Hold on, out? please welcome David. Yeah, that's a David. Yes! Bad for David. I just got more excited about anything than I have all Let's week. Let's hear his name. Chase Ferguson. Chase? Chase. 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 Look at those teeth. I don't know their hair. It's a little quaff. I'm ecstatic to be here. Absolutely, I can't wait to go on this journey. He's so pretty. He looks like this guy in a new Stephen Bustain. I like the first guy. I know I saw what you went through. I like the shoes. His pants are too short. Yeah, way too short. That's a good looking suit, though. That's a buff guy. Look at those arms. And, you know, I hope to be that. You know, when one door closes, another door opens. And, um, I hope to be that open, that open door, you know, but, um, 
Oh, he's doing it right too, and that's a hit man. Listen. Hey, uh, Chase. Doesn't work out with Becca. <laughs> Call Corey. Hey. He's cute. He's cute. I saw. I like the number one guy who I didn't hear his name. Did y'all hear his name? He no his one name. heard his name. He probably didn't even say it, but that that was a good looking guy. So far, two for two. Two for two, Bachelor. Yeah. She's like so blushing. Like Who's she's, next? She's like, see, oh my god, I love this. Well, oh. Please welcome Ben. If there's a puppy or a baby, this guy wins. Oh, he's. Okay. No. Oh, it's Wells. <laughs> no, no, I say no. Wrong reasons. Actually, by the way, I take it back. Yes. <laughs> Cute. He's number one. Also, like, he's... And he's got a skill. <laughs> Wait, is this going well? Is this a skill? I don't know, but he's, he's so hot. cute. Oh, he's got dimples. Oh, he sure does. Dimples, like, make me weak. My husband does not. He's performing <laughs> on live television. <laughs> but I wish he did. He's performing an original song he's on Blake. live television. This is Blake. Yeah, see, they all like it. Yes, I say yes. Hi, my name's Blake. First impression rose, <laughs> done. Ryan, I had the right letter. <laughs> Did he say groovy? <laughs> oh, he's Peter from the Brady Bunch. Thank you. You look incredible. Thank you so much. I've heard many wonderful things about you. I can't wait to get to Swoon Ryan. Oh, yes. Oh, we got Brian, say no more. Hashtag say more. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> it's not mine, but I'm going to say it like it is because it's really funny. What? He's super tall. You know what they say. The taller the guy, the thicker the banjo. <laughs> Who said it? What's that? Who said it? Well, he's in the room. I can't give credit. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was somebody who was commenting. No. Yes, it's someone <gasps> commenting. Oh, Thank you. Oh. You look good. I mean, I'm just trying to look like you. Okay. Please do that. 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 Please do to make friends we had three friends. minutes left. Oh. By the way, Maddie, who's watching, wants to know what our life is like when we're not watching The Bachelor. Similar. Which, by the way, it's us talking about <laughs> The Bachelor, just I... not in the cubicle. It's, it's pretty much this, just standing up. Still He's handsome, too. Four I... really good-looking guys. Here's and, the thing, by though. the way, Becca... Owning it. Oh. She should give a rose out right now. But like, don't, don't you think that she? There's some... Oh, there's someone else. Is he on a unicorn? What's happening? What's happening? No. Oh, there's a horse. There's a horse. Is that Tim Tebow? <laughs> Oh, he's so sweet. He brought a horsey. They got the guy in the cowboy hat. So, I want you to know how incredibly brave I think that you're standing here right now. He's cute. He's my least favorite, though. <laughs> Veronica T said, pick the horse. <laughs> You know what they also say? Save a horse, ride a cowboy. There it is. Oh, she's getting on the horse? Don't think you're getting on the horse. Oh, no, get on the horse. Okay. Luckily, they have. By the way, 
This is how you get remembered. Okay, I have a question. If you're, if you're one of the guys who's not on the live show. Do you feel like you have a disadvantage? Yes. Look, I think she remembers these people, but then I also think that there's something exciting Ooh. about her. Whoa. By the way, amazing legs. I know. Oh my god, amazing legs. Producers are getting for her Bachelor Nation! We're hot. Bachelor Nation! We're Ellen Bachelor Nation. Oh, Bennett, we know Bennett. We have to wait until May 28th? Literally? That's what are we such going bull! To what are we going to do until May 28th? We're going to eat popcorn and drink. Literally, we're going to be here Oh my god, for that's such a bummer. Okay, here's my wish. Oh, tell Col you Colette said, hate to be the guy walking in after the horse. Okay, so overall impression of the guys. Overall impression of the guys, great casting, super smoking hot. I like mm -hmm. the diversity. I like that they all kind of brought something different to the table. They each were memorable in their own ways. Mm -hmm. My biggest takeaway is I think she's going to be an incredible bachelor. I think she's going to be an incredible bachelor. I like that she like kind of you can tell she's got that personality. She's going to like not let them kind of. She's going to give them a run for their money. Well, because I think that she knows after what happened how not to do this. Agree. She's going to know you're the one, and I'm not going to tell eight and people by the that way, you're the one. Like you said, bachelors of of seasons past have not made that mistake. Yeah, this has never happened. They know what they want. They make it happen. I'm excited. My biggest wish is that we can get Becca here before the yes. season starts in the cubicle. I would love to meet you. I have so many things to say. This has been amazing. You guys, I don't know what compelled you to stay with us this entire time. But we did it. I'm so proud of we us. We did it. I only, Yay, I us. only lost three Swedish fish, and you didn't lose any. I know. So a big thanks for y'all for joining us this season. It has been so much fun. We're going to take one final shot in honor yes. of all of you. And then one final shot, and... Obviously. Yes. Stay you know, tuned. You know that we're going to be back. We for can't the not be. So if you want to watch as much as we do and see Becca, yeah. kill it. Mm -hmm. Come watch us again on that. Yay, Becca. We love you, Becca. All right. We Congrats, love you, Becca. Becca. Thank Becca. you guys for and watching. Everyone for watching. And we love you. And thanks to all of our team back here who have been amazing. We love you guys. Thank you. Mm. Oh.